Oh. You ever drink something and you forget what you're drinking and it's not the taste you expect, so you immediately want to spit it out even though it's fine? I thought I was drinking the water. This is not water. So I was like, oh. Very strange. All right, hello everybody, welcome. Howdy. Howdy, 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 howdy. Get in before the claimers. Here they come. <laughs> I love the claimers, they're my favorite. Hello, hello. Here come all the claiming clans. Welcome, welcome. Howdy. You guys must be here for your free sub. I get it. I'm happy that you showed up. Thanks for stopping by this Thursday evening. Really happy you guys showed up. Now listen, you're going to see the claim come up. You're going to get a unique code that only you get to use. And you're going to save that until another point in the night. And then you'll be able to activate that sub. Okay. So hold on to it for a little bit. Welcome. Thanks, Joe Jam. Joe Jam. Joe Jam. Thanks, Prime Butt. I don't like that. Hope you guys are doing good. Tony, I wanted to get a picture with you after Genesis 8 Top 8, but you took a pic with Iken and immediately booked it down the street. Yeah, I uh, I was trying to catch up with the guys because we were going out to dinner. Me, E.E., -E, Rod, T... Not TK. Me, E.E., -E, Rod, Max, Bam, and Charles. We're going to Fogo. Which reminds me, I need to reimburse that for Panda. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do that. Sorry I didn't get the, the pick with you. I'll catch you at the next one. I have a shit ton of homework. Can't stay. That's not an excuse. Put me on in the background. I'll be quiet. I won't distract you. The hell? It's the weakest excuse not to watch a stream I've ever heard. Fake fan. At least keep the tab open. Come on. You have responsible viewers? That's good. Go out and make a lot of money. Get fat, high-paying careers as doctors and lawyers and architects and surgeons. And then come back to me and give me gifts. <laughs> For getting you through a really hard time in your life. Help me out. Has the number changed? No, it's gone up. We're not talking about subs. Oh, thank you, Mousesife. Big thanks. Big thank you. Coney alumni donations. Yeah, I should. that should be a merch item. You get the hat. And you can wear it to your real graduation and put the thing to the side and let everybody know that you're you're dumb and you watch a dumb content creator. <laughs> everybody will judge you. I'll make it look stupid as hell. I'll be like those ones covered in stickers and stuff. Coney, was the monkey light bulb thing real or edited? Thanks and cheers from the UK. No. No, it shut off all my power. Sparks were flying everywhere here. I was off for like... 15 20 minutes I got the monkey off and I got him under control but yeah it totally shut everything down it was bad everybody was here for it you guys know very very scary didn't know if I'd make it out turn on the monkey lamp I mustn't I mustn't only when he is needed most which is not right now. Thanks, Scald. Thanks for the Prime. Thank you, everybody. Cruzar, Malsif with the five gifties. Love gifties. Thank you, Lucian Life. Thank you, Jingus Dingus, Fat Cows. 
Pork Chop the D. Evan M. Dibkey Dude. Swag Mag. Prime Butt. Still don't like that. Joe Jam. J Lo. Oh, like the like Jennifer. And Toxic Strawberry. Thank you. Coney, what animal would you eat, if any? I'm about to eat a cow in a little bit. Very soon. Thank you, Bieri. Thank you, Smack Shack. Thank you, Jesse Rule. Thank you, Yokai Nels. Cows are normal. What if I told you I was eating it with an ocean bug? Because I'm bougie as hell. I get both. Thanks, Spoogle. Thank you, Seltzy. A bug from the water. Thank you, Coney. I watched all your videos. Oh, you're done? You completed the YouTube 100%? Name every video. <laughs> right now. Shrimp? Not shrimp. Not shrimp. The other one. The big one. Red Lobster isn't bougie. Okay, it's Outback. <laughs> How about now? Bet you feel pretty dumb now. Shut him up. Mal really wanted Outback, so we got Outback. Thank you, Mayo. The monkey lamp is an American UK. So close. That's so close. You almost had it. Oh, man. How do you even spell it, yo? Maybe if you said two words. It probably would have worked. Maybe send five dollars and try again. You'll get it next time. I had a friend tell me that Fogo de Chao isn't even that expensive. Thank you, Retro Salad. I mean, it's not that it's... Hold on, how do I put this? It's expensive, but like... No restaurant is that expensive in that... If you are $75 away from being broke... You probably have other problems, but you probably shouldn't drop $75 on frivolities. Frivolities? Frivolities. We went to Fogo. I forgot how how salty all that be uh, meat is. It's all salty meat. It's so salty. It's crazy. The monkey lamp is an American yolk eye. You got it. You got it. That's it. Yolk eye. Two different words. Well done. How do I use the code? Just hold on to it for a little bit later, and you should be able to claim your free sub. But if not, you know, if, if it doesn't seem to work, you could just drop a, a Twitch Prime right now. You just drop them right now. And get your free sub right away. It's free. Coney, can we do a viewer age poll? Yeah, actually, I would love that. Unironically. I'm actually curious, and I've never done it. That sounds like fun. Please don't lie. Uh, what are the ages? What should the ages be? It would be like... You know, like... I don't know. 15 to 18... Because I think 15 is, like, lowest thing on Twitch, right? What happened to the TTS? Whoa. Huh? Oh, it's because I switched the things. Never mind. That's what happened. Thank you, Oni Chad. Thank you, Stan Darsh. <laughs> Why am I laughing at that? I haven't heard that name in a long time. It's a name I haven't heard in a long... Well, I haven't watched Star Wars. I don't know what the line is. All right, 15 to 18, 19 to 23, 24, 25 to 30, 30 to dead. This just means you're old. I'll do 30 to 35, I think. Oh, here we go. So this is actually my breakdown on YouTube. Interesting. That's my YouTube breakdown, right there. Neat. I'll do it this way, so we'll see how Twitch is. Uh, 13 to 17, 
18 to 24, 25 to 34, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, 35 to 44, or shouldn't be here. <laughs> All right. Go. How old are you? Everybody's gonna say shouldn't be here. Please don't lie. Please don't lie. I'm genuinely curious. I actually want to know. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Dude, all the shouldn't be here's are pissing me off. Because, like, I actually want to know if I have anybody 45 and up tuning in right now. If I do, thank you for your service. Uh, you probably have a little bit more discretionary income. So, you know, there's okay. always gifts. Why didn't that come through? You didn't give the... You didn't give a message, Four Eyes. It's, it's blank. Thoughts on Gotham Knights. Thank you for High Ox for the Prime. Uh, I haven't looked it up. I don't know if there are any updates or anything. I'll check it out. Thank you, Rizak, for the Tier 1. Big thanks. Now do a race poll. Absolutely not. Not here. I don't even see color. Wait, that's a bad thing to say. You're supposed to see color and respect experiences. Never mind. That's a 90s thing to say. That's horrible. Canceled. Yeah, that's what people said in the 90s. They were like, I don't even notice race or color. Damn it. I'm from a different generation. Thank you, 18 to 24 year olds, for populating the chat. Big no thanks, because we have 312 voters and like 700 people in the chat. I don't know what the rest of you guys are doing. Maybe that's all old people who can't figure out how their computer works. That's everybody beyond the ages of 45 and up calling up their, their grandniece, trying to get them to, to put the computer <laughs> onto keyboard mode. How to hook up a keyboard into their iPad. What do I do? Or I'm on it. Oh, dude, I forgot. I could be on TV for people. Are you watching me on TV? I didn't even think of that. A lot of people do that. Oh, wow. I'm on a TV. I probably look so big on the TV. Wow. Wow. Sometimes what I would do is I watch something on the TV, but I'd be on chat on my phone. The double screen experience. I use Chromecast. See, there we go. Coney, some people are watching you while pooping. Are God, there there has to be a, several people pooping right now. Are you okay with that? Absolutely. It's a natural part of life, and I hope everything goes good for you. I hope nothing bad happens. Hope you get through this tumultuous time in your life. Okay, so over half of my audience is 18 to 24. At least the ones that voted. Good to know. Thanks. So Whoa! <laughs> That's one of the old guys with all that money I talked about. Oh, shit. Tier 2s? Oh my god! That's not even tier 1's! Oh my god! Thank you, Razak! Oh my god! That's $200! Razak S gave 20 tier 2's! Thank you so much! Oh my god! I'm speechless! Gracious! That was so nice of you! Good lord. I don't even have a joke for that. Thank you so much. Holy shit. If they were tier 1s, I would call you poor and laugh at you because it wasn't 21 subs. But since they were tier 2s, I, I bow down at the mass of your wealth. Amazing. It's Razak? Is that it? <laughs> There's a Z there. Razak. 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 Thank you so much. Sincerely. Thank you. 
Thank you, Bally Total Fit for the tier one. Sweep 66 for the tier one for 13 months. It's a long time. Did I say high ox? Thanks, high ox for the prime also. I think I did. You get two. Just because I like you. All those claims paid off. See, I told you guys they were coming. I told you the free subs were coming. Razak. Oh, that's easier. Razak. I was going to say that because my name is also that. So I thought that was it, but I didn't want to be wrong. Thank you, Marad C. Merid C. I always get weird about that because I know people don't care if you mispronounce their names, but I always feel like somebody's going to be mad at me, and I feel bad about that. I always feel bad about it. I don't know why, because who cares? <laughs> I'm all weird about it. Thank you, Halu Quinn. Hi, Coney. What are you doing tonight? You'll see. Kanye, can you please confirm I'm sure that we are friends to Kanye time this girl won't believe me I am not pose oh, is that so true it have seen you shirtless anyways here this five dies okay I don't know if you've seen me shirt have you have we been to a pool oh did we go to Tant's house maybe I don't remember seeing either of us seeing each other shirtless yeah we did do you mean the magfest after party that's a magfest joke Thank you, Four Eyes 95. Big thanks. That's a gamer convention joke. That, that didn't actually happen. My name is actually Abdul Razak, but I'm going to not put you through the effort of that. Did I get it? Abdul Razak? Did I do it? I hope so. Hope I got it. Uh, no, Nirette and I have hung out before. We went to Big House and we got some delicious. Uh, it, was it? Was it ice cream or a milkshake? Yeah. I love near it. No, we love near it here. Thank you, Four Eyes, for the five gifties. Jeez, you guys are so nice to me. Holy crap. Big ups, my guy. You killed it. Thank you. <laughs> I pronounced the name correctly. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. Paris socialism at its finest. It is, it is the highest level of parasocialism when the streamer acknowledges you in real life. Because then I'm just like... Like, if you if you already... It's, it's the most parasocial to be normally social. Does that make sense? Because now I could ask Niret for real money. If I was like, hey, can I borrow 100 bucks? He would do it. Because I have an audience. You see what I'm saying? It's parasocial in that I can leverage my audience to parasite off him now. I'm extremely parasocial with my friend of 16 years. See? It just goes back and forth. It's parasocial except you both benefit, like a parasite. Not a psychopath, by the way. <laughs> but your audience is children. It's literally not. We just saw that. It's 18 to 24. Come on, those are adults. Which tracks on YouTube also. It's literally the same on YouTube. Let's not forget. See? Can we play marbles sometime? What would we do on marbles? Vince loves marbles, dude. Vince is always trying to get me in the marble. What the hell is... What's that? What happened? I didn't see it. Wait, dude, I didn't... Th okay, this is what I saw in the chat. I didn't get to see it. T was it Among Us penis? Look, it's this. I can't see it. Maybe if I stretch it out. Hold on, maybe if I... Do I have to compress it? German virgin. Wait, maybe if I... Messages. Um, how do I see it? Uh, what did you type? <laughs> All right. Well, something set him off. He was... Th this is a man pushed to the breaking point. Two totally normal messages, and then that. Unbelievable. Thanks, German Virgin. I don't know what you put, but I hope it was funny. One bad day. It was a smash ball? Why are we mad at him, then? Come on, unban that guy. Come on. 
He was just an excited Smash player. Come on! Oh, that's neat. This is a lovely drawing. Fuck that, fuck Smash. You're so hateful. Come on. Maybe we'll do some, uh, maybe we'll do some marbles. I don't like doing marbles without, like, something to do with it. You know what I mean? I think marbles are a nice side dish, but I don't think they can be the main course. Does that make sense? We gotta have an idea of what to do with it. It's fun to watch them race down the track. That's true. Oh, Mal's calling me. It's probably because of food. Hi, sweetie. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll come up and get it. All right, I love you. Bye. Okay, the food's outside, and Mal can't get up and get it, so I gotta find a video for you guys to watch. Perfect. Dude, that's insane. They actually tear zooed this. That's unreal. Alright, uh Squirrel's teeth never I'll be right growing, back. But the animals wear them down by to go gnawing get the food. on nuts and other hard foods. The front of the rodent's teeth is actually orange. It's because they're covered in special tough enamel. Ew, gross. You don't have that to deal All right, with. one second. Some bird species don't mind munching on chili peppers. That's because they can't feel the heat. Peppers burn your mouth because they contain a special chemical, capsaicin. But birds don't have the taste buds needed to feel its effects. The rhino's horn is made of hair, or at least the same protein that makes up your hair and nails. This protein is called keratin. Such a horn is kind of unique since other animals have horns with a bony center. The woodpecker can peck the wood 20 times per second. This pace is almost too high for the human eye to notice. How much wood would a woodpecker peck if a woodpecker could peck wood? The number of pecks often reaches a total of 8,000 to 12,000 a day. A starfish does have eyes, one on the end of each of its arms. These eyes are light-sensitive groups of cells. Frogs don't need to drink water. Instead, they have an area known as the drinking patch. It's on their bellies and thighs. They use it to absorb water directly through the skin. Well, that could save some time. Most caterpillar species have around 4,000 muscles in their body, and almost 250 of them are in the head alone. Christmas tree worms are much more beautiful than you can imagine. But even though the pines look awesome, two-thirds of the worm's body is hidden in a calcium carbonite tube. And the point of this is, I don't have one. Narwhals' famous tusks are actually their teeth that are kind of turned inside out. These unicorns of the sea have just two teeth. And in males, one of them grows right through their upper lip. Unlike your teeth, this one is tough inside and sensitive and soft on the outside. The anteater doesn't have worm. teeth. I want to see the Christmas worm. This creep I want to see the Christmas worm. What does it look like? I never seen it. Narwhals and almost 250 of them are in the drinking patch. It's is our light sensitive patch. Most Where's the pillar species? Where's the Christmas worm? In a two thirds of the but even though the pine Christmas tree worms are. Oh, it's a. I thought it was Christmas tree like lights. I thought it was like Christmas tree lights. I was so excited. I thought that'd be cool. But it's just... ...are much more beautiful than you can imagine. I don't like that. Lip. I don't have teeth, but it's not a problem. This creature has a super long tongue. Ew! Ew! Look at that. Oh my God, that's so gross. Jesus Christ. Problem. This creature has a super long tongue. This tongue helps the animal lap up more than 35,000 termites in You ants. guys? You guys? I am being... I have some bad news. Hold on. 
I'm being extremely careful. Okay? It's not going to happen again. It's not going to happen again. It'll be okay. It'll work out. It's really because my stream hates it when I eat broccoli because they're all 10 years old. Every day. Well, that's one way to lick hunger. The flea can jump more than 200 times their body length. If humans had such an ability, they would jump as high. Yesterday, at the beginning of the stream, you guys could check the VOD if you want. I got stun locked for 20 minutes trying to pick broccoli out of my teeth. It was a piece in the back, like in my wisdom tooth. Most miserable start to a stream ever. I as the Empire State Building. Woohoo! It was so the bad. Red-eyed tree frogs' eggs can hatch earlier if they sense their environment isn't safe. Small animals with fast metabolism see in slow mo. This helps them escape larger creatures. Koala's fingerprints are very, very similar to the human ones. I'm so stupid. I was like, you could frame a koala for a crime. You could strangle someone with koala hands. I don't know. I heard fingerprints, and I was like, there's got to be a way for a koala to get away with murder. Sometimes these animals' fingerprints even get confused at crime scenes. I'm not a psychopath. Probably I just think about killing people a lot. The hippo's sweat is pink and not exactly sweat. It's a reddish, oily fluid. Ew! It's is this a real picture? Oh, my God. Its function is to not cool the body, but to moisturize the skin and protect it. This fluid also functions it as was like It was like weird colors. An antibiotic. So, you get sunburn or cut, you can smear a hippo all over you. Polar bear skin is black, and the hairs of their coat are hollow and almost see-through. These animals have fur growing even on the... Rewind, you got the koala thing right. What do you... Wait, I got what right? What do you mean? Sometimes these animals' fingerprints even get confused at crime scenes. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I'm going to get a pet koala. That's so stupid. There's no end to this joke. Probably in us, but to moisturize the skin, oh, you get... I'm going to get a pet koala and teach it to kill people. That's not a punchline. It's sunburn or cut. That's just sick. You can smear a hippo all over you. Killing my alibi. Thank Polar you, Esperden. Their skin is black, and the hairs of their coat are hollow and almost see-through. These animals have fur growing even on the bottom of their paws. <laughs> this gives Commit them a better grip on Commit crimes and frame a koala. Call that claw in order. against coal. Good one. Some species like of tarantulas, some of the largest spiders in the world, can live without food for more than two years. I don't believe I that. I still think they're creepy. Platypuses close their eyes while kissing. Uh, I mean, swimming. Aww. They have special folds of skin covering their ears and eyes. I don't like the rest of this. I don't want to watch the rest. But it does remind me. Oh, I thought there was a new tear zoo. Is there not? He tweeted about it. He tweeted that there's a new tier zoo. Thank you, Ectochasm. Thank you, Rimkaru. Big thanks. Put the video back on? Eyes. They prevent water from getting inside. These animals' nostrils also I know have all a these facts. Seal. Emus this video is for children. Backwards, but scientists aren't sure why. These flightless birds are the These only are so ones that obvious. have calf muscles. Emus Duh. can sprint really fast. They can also travel long Everybody distances, knows this. but they can't back up. Crocodiles can't move their tongue because it's attached to the mouth roof. Ew. It keeps the throat closed and protects the animal's airway. Can they taste? Water snakes, dolphins, whales, alligators, crocodiles, and turtles can drown. It'll happen if they stay under gators, crocodiles, and turtles, and drown. Oh, that's It'll sad. It'll happen if they stay underwater for too long. These animals can't breathe in the water. They can just hold their breath for a very long time. That's Only so sad. Only one species of birds can fly backwards. That's hummingbirds. Hey, go talk to the emu. These tiny birds can also beat their wings up to 80 times per second. Despite what elephant shrews look like, oh, I like these, these small guys. animals are more closely related so to elephants cute. than shrews. Maybe that's why they have their trademark trunk-like noses. 
elephant shrews use them to munch on insects. True enough. Cats, as well as other felines, uh -huh. can't taste sweet things. They don't have the taste buds needed for that. Fringe. Too bad, more for me. Flamingos can only eat with their heads upside down. Wait, don't they That's like milk? Isn't milk kind of sweet? I guess milk is more savory, right? But my cat has diabetes. <laughs> okay, I think your cat can taste sweets. I think your cat is the one cat. It's like Professor X. That's some Magneto shit. Your cat's a mutant. And it got the taste of ice cream. And he couldn't stop. Lower bill is massive, and their upper bill isn't fixed. Such an arrangement is perfect for upside-down feeding. But it's the opposite of what other birds have. It's not easy being pink. Tiger skin is as striped as their fur. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah. When toucans sleep, they curl into pretty tight balls. These birds can turn their head so that their tail covers their head and the beak. Oh my god. So yeah, they have a ball. Tail cover. Oh my god, that's so cute. Covers their head and the beak rest I on love the back. that. So yeah, they have a ball. I was watching a uh, a stand-up special on my way to Genesis. It was Nate Bargatze. And he said horses sleep lying down. Did you guys know that? I just assumed they were like cows. Do cows sleep lying down? Or do cows sleep standing up? They sleep standing up, right? Cows sleep lying down. Does everything sleep lying down? <laughs> Some things have to sleep standing up, right? I thought so. That's what a stable is for. Oh. I guess there is a lot of hay there. Fish don't sleep lying down. I don't think fish sleep. I've never seen a sleeping fish in my life. And I've been to an aquarium like eight times. None of them were sleeping. I didn't know if fish, like, had the brain capacity to need to sleep, right? Because, like, sleeping is, it removes the soot from your brain. And it, like, resets. So I didn't know if fish needed that. Or if they could just be on all the time. You know? I'm not kidding. Like, I kind of, like, that's, I didn't know if they needed that. The ostrich has some of the low Dolphins don't sleep. They just always have half their brain turned off so they don't drown. See, there you go. Largest eyes in the animal kingdom. They're Fish more can't massive close their than eyes. a bird. That's what it is. Fish don't have eyelids. Bird's brain. Got it. Each How eye do they sleep then? Each eye is as big as a billiard ball. All clownfish get born male, but in some circumstances, they can turn into females. This change is irreversible. Unlike most fish, when seahorses mate, they do it for life. Even cuter, when the mates travel, they move side by side and often hold on to each other's tails. Oh! The male usually gets stuck schlepping the luggage. Termites never sleep. They don't need to recharge their batteries. But they can eat 24 hours a See? day, 7 days a week, on your house. The sloth needs up to 2 weeks to digest its food. Hey, I take fucking your time. told you, no Pony wins. Yeah. Nothing on the schedule. Dogs' nose prints can be used for their identification. They are similar to Aww. human fingerprints and unique for each animal. Cute. Owls don't have eyeballs. Instead, they have eye tubes that don't move in the eye sockets. Oh! Penguins don't have external ears, but their hearing is especially sharp, especially when they're on the lookout for polar bears. Shh, let's not tell them. Do birds just have holes? Jellyfish are up to 98% water. That's why when they I get washed jellyfish. ashore, their bodies can evaporate into the air after just a few hours. Good, die. If I fucking hate jellyfish, dude. 
I was scarred as a kid. I got attacked by a pack of jellyfish. I hate them. I was like eight years old, and we went somewhere. I thought it was a lake, but I guess it was the ocean, because I don't think jellyfish live in lakes. And yeah, I got stung by a pack of them. So. Traffic jam happens underwater. An alligator will always give way to a manatee. Nice manners. Grizz How do you know that? Always give way. If a traffic jam happens underwater, an alligator will always give way to a manatee. How would they know that? How many times have you set this up? Nice manners. What? Grizzly bears have such a strong bite that they can crush a yeah. bowling ball. So Fuck it's you and smart Jack just to let them fish are my favorite animal. Giant pandas aren't Stupid. picky about their sleeping spots. <laughs> so my my uh my best friend Eric just hit me up. I noticed my Chad Warden video suddenly got a bunch of good movie comments 17 hours ago. I can't find it on your Twitter or VOD, so I have no idea why. <laughs> We're going to watch it tonight. It's still very funny. I watched it last night to make sure it was uh, not tossed. They usually fall asleep it's wherever so they are. In most cases, right on the forest floor. The giant panda's newborn cubs are tiny. They weigh like a small cup of coffee oh! and are smaller than a mouse. The red handfish can walk along the ocean floor with the help of its hands. But of course, they are not hands, but evolved fins. Dude, this video really. kind of sucks. I don't like this. Cats don't usually meow at each other. A study has shown the felines use this way of communication mostly to get attention from this us This video humans. is great. It's 11 minutes. And it works. It's too long. Sloths. Did that cat have one eye? From us humans. And it works. Yes. I couldn't tell if it had one eye if that was the angle. Poor kitty. Sloths can't shiver. It's not that they're too busy. Do what is that shit-eating grin? What did that sloth do? This sloth just killed someone and blamed it on a koala. Digesting that two-week-old meal. Their fur is sometimes covered with algae. And when they get too hot algae? or too cold, their metabolism shuts down. This bitch is near the water? How he get covered in algae when he lives in a tree? During the hard times, immortal jellyfish transform themselves back He's into sweating. their younger state. <laughs> Once they reach the stage when they're better not be, it's not even moving. Tissue, like me, these creatures start to grow again, and this process can apparently repeat again and again. The manatee fact is apparently legit. They'll run into each other in Florida from time to time, and manatees just have to bump an alligator to get it quickly move out of the way. I don't get it. If I was an alligator, I would eat manatees swiftly. Those things are huge. They've got to be like 8 billion calories. The closest How? living Bite relatives it. of the T-Rex are chickens and ostriches. <laughs> Don't turn your back. The moray eel has another set of jaws that can extend from his throat. Oh my god, that's First, gross. First, the main jaws close around an unlucky sea creature. Oh! Then the additional set grabs the eel's future meal with backward-pointing razor-sharp teeth. And after that, the captured animal gets dragged back into the eel's throat. I just lost my appetite. Uh, Some species of snails have hairy the eel shells. Is the glizzy gladiator. Thanks to these hairs, <laughs> snails can better stick to wet surfaces. Nature is crazy, when dude. I'm fascinated hunt, by nature. In a group and apply How did God come up with all this? To catch their food. The bubbles don't let the schools of fish get away. You know what's crazy to me? All this stuff happens all over the world without any humans noticing. The world is so cool, and it all happens without any human to observe it. Isn't that crazy? Like, there is an eel eating a fish right now, and nobody's watching it. Somewhere out there in the ocean. God or whoever did this, Charles Darwin, created the coolest shit you've ever seen. And it just doesn't, nobody, it goes unappreciated, except in 50 in awesome animal facts videos. Snow leopards can't roar like other large felines. All of Star Wars was filmed on Earth. Great fun movie fact. 
It has to do with their less developed vocal cords. But these animals can meow, growl, hiss, and even purr. Not to drift away from their group while napping. Sea otters... <laughs> he can't. He can't. ...hold hands. They can also entangle themselves in oh, he's giant praying. seaweed for the same purpose. Hey, it kelps. Lions are often called the king of the prairie. I thought it was the king of the jungle. And still, up to 90% of all the hunting in the pride is done by the females. The males females are in charge hunting. of protecting mm. the territory and the pride members. And they make the delicious potato salad known as Hakuna Matator. Cats are famous for their uncanny ability to move their ears, all because kitties have 32 muscles in each outer ear. Some shark species can glow in the dark. Unfortunately, How much longer is this? Only other this is too many facts. This greenish I would like a five-minute video. You have up to 8,000 taste buds. Ugh. But your pooch has just a bit over 1,500. The blue jay can imitate other birds. Its favorite is a hawk's call. The blue jay uses it to scare away other birds from its territory. Scared me? Slow lorries are insanely cute. Bro, he has fingernails? I have posted a video containing one hour and 30 minutes of Cunny Clips, not kidding, Link. I am not watching that. One hour and 30 minutes of clips? What compelled you to do this? The first thing I click. The heart wants what it wants. Roxy, my beloved. Oh, here's Shrek farting on my wife. There that is. I hate him when he did that. Oh, Shrek, you rascal. Then just as treacherous. They're the only known <laughs> venomous primates. They have a gland in the crook of their inner arm. It's Dude, I still I didn't know they had fingernails. Why? What are fingernails for? Are they just evolved claws? Like scratching, right? Hmm. Secretes toxins that can cause unpleasant consequences in people. The heart of beast has an amazing <laughs> evasion tactic. <laughs> I've never seen this animal. A new animal dropped. It's like a mix between like a wildebeest and that one dog that I've seen on the internet with the long nose. To run away from other animals, they move Brand in new a animal just dropped. Pattern. Bottlenose dolphins have names for one another. Oh, Those are cute. specific whistles. Hey, Bob. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Dolly. Hey, boys. And thanks for all the fish. Giraffes have long, and I mean it, black tongues. Scientists that's suppose so this color might protect the tongue from getting sunburned. Ah. Well, that's all I got. See ya. Bye. Everybody say bye, video. So, uh... Last night, I forget how it came up, but, uh... Oh, because we were playing a horror game and Superman was in it. And I, it reminded me, because the episode I thought was the same episode that my friend and I, mostly him, made a YouTube poop of way back in 2008. <laughs> this is fifth, uh, 14 years ago, July. Older than some people in this chat, maybe. Uh, it is... I, 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 when I was reminded of this, I realized that I don't think, I don't know if the stream has ever seen it. Did you censor the N-word? I don't say the N-word. Chad Warden says the, although S Superman says the N-word. <laughs> you got to take that up with him. And good luck trying to, trying to cancel Superman. Good luck on that one. Anyway, we made a YouTube poop. Called Chad Ward, Man of Steel. I'm still very proud of it. This is when poops were good. Way back when. Yeah, good luck canceling uh, cancel like Superman, bro. You're not gonna do it. Chad Ward. YouTube poop still goes.
Not anymore. Not like it used to. My favorite moment in this video is a quick pop, pop. See if you know where it is. See if you can find the spot. To think you were 32 when you made this. I wasn't. I didn't make most of it. I was 20 when it came out. Come on. Send in Lois Lane. It's so stupid. What's up, bitches? Give me a follow up on this bullet car story. Probably. Attention. What? The destruction of your police station today was only a small demonstration of our power. Oh, shit. Unless your mayor turns over the entire funds of the city treasury, they fuck, they think they are. plants, firehouses, and all municipal buildings will be next. They, they think they're smart shit. Take heed. I'll give you $600 just to shut the hell up, nigga. The funniest part of this is Chad Warren just mumbling to himself the whole time. That's my favorite part. Looks like a dildo. It does. <laughs> Thanks, Banana Man. I need to shoot some niggas. The bullet hit! I don't know why Superman narrated that, that part. Slick, slick. This is bullshit. That's bullshit. The pop, pop. That's not it. That's not it. Not yet. That shit. What bitch? This chair wouldn't hear. I forgot he called her a white bitch. Chad Daddy. Many different names. Bully. <laughs> Banana man, thank you for the double sub. I didn't know you could do that. Bitch, my hand. I like that shit. That shit is slick. Shit, my bitch. Shit, my hair was was blown before that shit. I right? smash. <laughs> Don't even give me that shit. It's not it, not yet. Chad Warren don't give a shit about hunters, all right? I ain't even gonna pick that shit up. <laughs> we got these Xbox fans. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what does he call them Xbox fans? Shit. I, I ain't trying to play my games with no... Deal. No. He's just mumbling to himself the whole shit, time. This is man game. I love this video so much. I don't know about you, but that shit ain't bold. Ah oh shit, ah, uh, that ain't cash. That's that shit. Of your imagination, I don't know if this counts. Wait! <laughs> that part always gets me. I love the pop pop every time. I love that part. Fuck that shit, right? I don't Fuck. know. Everybody knows that girls can't do shit other than so dick. Okay, I don't know why Superman said that. Look at that nigga's mustache. <laughs> Nigga ain't fooling me. I, you know, he may be fooling La Migra. Shit. I'm not trying to tell Roast him. The guy in the plane. I, Chad Wolf from Ace Town, man. Chad Wolf seen his chair. You know, leave him Mexican niggas. I, what's up, baby? What's up, bitches? You smash. So it always wins, baby. Chad so stresses a bad. I don't know y'all niggas know what a bad means. I, a bad means as a baller as possible. A bad. A. Why is he telling her? She wrote the article. What is 
<laughs> I love this video so much. <laughs> He's mansplaining. She wrote the article on ABET. She knows. I fucking love this video. My best friend made this video in 2008, and I still think it's great. This Is this what ABAP originates from? It's it's a Chad Warden thing. It's a Chad Warden YouTube poop. That's all it is. What are the comments? Well, now they're mine. Good movie, good movie. Cody time. I am going to pick that shit up. Eight years ago. 3K views. Holds up really well. I agree. I love this shit. Mm. It's a good movie, dude. Number go up. Yep, yep. There we go. You, you've you earned a sub. You've earned a subscriber. Last video, I think, was eight years ago. Oh, I forgot. Also on this channel. Holy shit, I forgot about this. So my friend and I... Can we get some? Elmo's got the moves link. I almost got the move maybe in a second. Hold on. So my friend and I also, what we would do is we played WWE 2K14, but we changed, we always played as Vince McMahon, and we changed his entrance, and we made people sit through the whole thing, and we would shit talk them the entire time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is the most updated version. But he comes out of Goldberg's locker room. I don't remember what, how this how this ends actually. <laughs> he has a goblet. <laughs> what flag is that? Who are you shit talking? The person we fight. You can change anybody's entrance. We were on a, we were on, we were online just shit talking someone while the entrance was happening. God, we gave him a chainsaw. Oh. There are two different versions of this entrance. And one of them, he had a crown on. Why is Vince McMahon doing this? I, it was the best thing we ever did. He just throwing the chainsaw around like the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's fucking Leatherface. Thanks, Joe. Oh, my God. It was a terrific time. Oh, this video goes crazy, too. Have you ever seen Mortal Kombat with all the cheats on? <laughs> this shit's nine minutes. There's a few really good spots, though. Scorpion just keeps bringing himself back to life. He got chopped in half somehow. I don't, this is a brutal death. <laughs> oh, he wins. I forgot he wins this fight. Yeah. Johnny, stop. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, these games are brutal. <laughs> Way more violent than you remember. <laughs> I forgot there was a ceiling there. 
I forgot about that. <laughs> Feel the power. Feel the wrath of Shao Kahn. <laughs> Is that the best? Fatality. <laughs> He's writing, writing an autograph Feel for Shao Kahn in the middle of the fight. Feel the power. That's pretty Feel funny. The wrath of Shao. <laughs> That's very on brand, yeah. That's a very Johnny Cage thing to do. Oh, he caught him. Good reversal. <laughs> cool move, Johnny. They're gonna go settle their differences elsewhere. He <laughs> just people leave. Fatality. Is this a fatality? Johnny Cage wins flawless victory. Punch him in the dick sixty fatality. times. Oh, I forgot about Kentaro. That dude's huge. <laughs> oh, never mind. I thought it would. Oh, his clothes turned blue. <laughs> he turned into a dragon and then died again. He became Mortal Kombat, yeah. Oh, Johnny's back at it again. Ripping off women's torsos. There's a baby on the floor. <laughs> I forgot he punched the baby. <laughs> There's a baby here! <laughs> he just keeps spawning babies and decapitating them. This is so satisfying to watch. I love watching this. I don't know why. I thought it was nine minutes. I was like, I can't make it through the whole thing. But now I love this. Why are there two? Sometimes people have twins. Oh, Johnny's doing it again. <laughs> Cool trick, Johnny. Alright, he's just writing down his, like, grocery list. Trying to remember what to pick up. Milk, eggs, bread. He missed that last one. Get him back up there, Johnny. There you go. Good shit. Feel the wrath of Shao Who's Kong. screaming? Is that your best? That was Kano Fatality. in the back. Feel the power. Prepare. Johnny Cage is loaded. What is that face? I rule this game. You know, this face, this kind of looks like Jerma, doesn't it? Right there. This one shot. I kind of see it. I think it's the hair. I kind of see it. This <laughs> I didn't even see a baby. Prepare to die. I rule this. Feel the power. <laughs> Feel the wrath of Shao. He's just dictating to him. To you are nothing. Johnny Cage is his assistant. Friendship. Friendship. Ripped off his own arms. Why did Jax do that? I miss friendships. Oh, wait, no, they added them back. Never mind. I was thinking of Babalities. They took those out. There goes me eating dinner. Are you getting disgusted by Mortal Kombat 2 violence and gore? Come on. This is like 1993. Come on. I 
forgot he eats his own head. Yeah. Stop the movie, it's too real. There's another baby. They just keep popping up. These are getting hard to follow, yeah. They're getting more intense as they go. I think. Oh, she turned into bones. Oh, there she is. I think she's sucking herself up because she has like a kiss move that like swallows you or something, I think. She kept tripping on the bones. Why is it all Baraka? All these involve Baraka doing some shit. The Baraka ones are weak. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of this guy. Good shit, Raiden. Put him down. Oh hell no, he's still got the hitbox out. Oh, Raiden won. Yep. Oh Johnny, not again. Johnny, stop. I wasn't even in that fight. Thank you, Tai Zai. Thank you, Avon Foy. Kung Lao wasn't even there. He just fell somewhere across the planet. Another baby. It's always babies with these guys. I think the guy that was Johnny Cage in these is, like, still around. I think he still does stuff. I don't know if he's still, like, an actor or whatever, but... Thank you, Ferrix. Is the Boomer Cage in the new ones? I don't Johnny think so. That's not a babality. It's always this Johnny, over and over. <laughs> Johnny Cage wins. What a brutal ending. Anyway, I love this video. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Coney Big Brain said my name correctly. That It doesn't seem like a hard name to say. Oh, I heard this got announced. Hold on. I actually don't know what it is. I wanted to look. Because you know me. Old Sonic. Love old Sonic. New Sonic. Bleh. What games is it, though? I'm so hyped. What games, though? Okay, that's Sonic 1. Is it just like 1, 2, and 3? 1. Oh, they're putting CD on. Okay. I mean... Why, though? Aren't there a million ways to play these games? Well, this one's, I guess, in widescreen? Also, why are they coins? What's going on there? These aren't coins. Oh, coins aren't the same as rings. Huh? Classic anniversary. What? What's the difference?
Oh, it's widescreen. I see. Okay. Got it. Why would you buy this if not for the widescreen? That's so strange. I did... I did hear about this. Like, actual cutscenes, which I guess is kind of cool. Aw. That's a cute Knuckles. He looks like a dog. I like that Knuckles. He's so happy. <laughs> I like that one. I don't get it, though. Why? There's a mode that links all four as one big game with cutscenes. Oh, that's kind of cool. I actually kind of like that. Wait. Coney DLC. Hold on. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you, Crispy Chicken. Thank you, Bunkulies. Bunkulies. I've missed you. I don't know. I feel like I haven't seen you in chat as much. Hope you're doing well, buddy. I know you're in college, so I'm sure you got busy. Coney, did you like Sonic Mania? Yeah, dude, Sonic Mania rules. I've been in so many plays. Let's go, brother. Hope you're killing it out there. Wait, what is this? Uh, <laughs> Why are there so many options? Standard Edition only has the main game. Start Dash Pack gets 100 coins. What? Why did they make this graphic? Huh? Uh, mirror Mode. You don't get Mirror Mode in the Deluxe Edition. Uh, 100 bonus coins. Don't get bonus coins. And you don't get a letterbox background if you get the main thing, but you get everything else. Character animation and the main menu. What do you mean? That's only available in the digital deluxe. What does that mean? Like when you're highlighting all the characters, they do a little like one of these. Camera controls over the main menu islands. This is so weird. The Deluxe is literally $5 more than the original. <laughs> Sega is so weird. Our marketing department created a handy guide for pre-ordering Trek to Yomi. I hate it when companies do this. I hate it when companies dunk on other companies. Like, I get why they do it, but it just feels so... Like, come on, man. You know what I mean? It's just so easy. And what are you doing it for? Hearts. Getting dunks for hearts and likes. Come on. Come on, man. Devolver, <laughs> Resident Sleeper. We like Devolver here. Hold on. We're Devolver fans. I even got a Devolver hat. Do not shit talk Devolver on this stream. I'm a fan of Devolver. But someone uh, on this stream said that Devolver E3s were never funny and they responded to that person on my stream. Which was like, yeah, I don't know why they were watching, but yeah. No, we like Devolver here. Come on, be nice. We're a fan. Yeah, I guess they're always watching. Thank you, Soul Spark, for the tier one. Like Devolver was in your stream. No, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Uh. Oh, it was Joltio. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I did the whole, you know. Give me an opinion, Omega Lol. And Joltio said, Devolver D3s were never funny. And then... They just had to show up. I hate it when people do this. I really do. Like, you're petty enough to name search? 
Just just don't react with it. Don't don't interact. Like, what do you? I, who's the like? Is it is it Joel? No, it's Josh Rocket, who might be in here too. <laughs> yeah, they're searching it on Twitter. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not into that. Did you see that the TMNT collection will be bringing back the voice actors from the OG cartoon? Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Aren't they all old as hell? Why would you do that? That's a terrible idea. So, have you watched The Simpsons? Have you heard Marge? Old people can still voice act. Not many of them. However, I will say this. Have you guys ever seen the Halo voice actor? It's insane. William, this is Jeff Steitzer, the voice of God multiplayer. He is so old. For Halo, and I have to say I'm delighted that he does not sound like this. <laughs> I would have never known that's what he looks like. You reached out to me to voice some phrase and the love of all the fans. Uh, I can't begin to... Cameo custom hey, voice Whitaker, lines. Hey, it's you uh, for your YouTube videos. Um, I have to say that one of the most amazing what a things terrific about voice. these recordings for Cameo, uh, be happy to record these things for you. Unbelievable. Here we go. Keep it dirty. Monday morning multi-kills. <laughs> Trick shot. Sand boxer. Yeah, he doesn't sound like there that. There you go. I hope that was what you were looking. He does not sound like he looks at all. It's insane. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you watch The Simpsons, a uh, new Simpsons Marge voice. This is so sad. Oh, God, there's a whole video on it. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Mom. Dude, Marge is so sad. It it legitimately makes me so sad to listen to. But I'm going to do it anyway. Dreams. Thanks, Mom. Sleep tight. Okay, so this is this is the Marge most people know. That's an NPR, hmm? Maybe they'd rather listen to that old right. War of the Worlds broadcast on NPR, hmm? Yes, mother. Good. Now you hold Maggie. I'm going to buy some earrings at the gift shop. So that's Marge. And this is new Marge, I guess. Okay, I'm on episode eight of Killing Her Softly. We need to talk about Angela's landlord. Why did he allow her to pay for a year uh. up front? What did Sergey know? <laughs> we have much to discuss. Not that bad? Come on. Okay, pause. It's like the police... Listen, I don't like that this video exists because it does feel kind of fucked up, right? Because it's like... It, it, it's it's basically showcasing it and saying, ha ha, look at this. I can't believe this. I feel the same way when I look at this as I do with like Sunny V2 videos where it's like the decline of X. I hate those videos. And I get why people click on them because it's appealing and people like uh, what uh, cautionary tales. But whenever I see them, I'm like, come on, man. Just let something be down, you know. Intentionally, I don't. I don't dislike Sunny V two because I watch some of his videos and like, you know, th they're fine on the inside, but the clickbaits are like how X the fallen, de d you know, the rise and fall of X. It's always that bullshit, and it's always something to the effect of like, they were popular and then they weren't. Like, okay, yeah. People like watching a train wreck. Yeah, I. it's just, I don't well, know. You screwed up the investigation. It always feels drops, fucked up to me, you know? Drops of blood, you can explain. But drops of brain? I know. Okay, play. Okay, pause. They totally ignored the text messages. Lisa sounds different, too. From the coroner's mistress. Okay, play. Play. Mm, oh. mm -hmm. <gasps> Which, like, obviously, mm -hmm. right? People get oh, older, yeah. but... <laughs> Man. It's just sad, dude. You know? This show should have been over 25 years ago. How do they keep every voice actor? That's what blows my mind. Everybody on The Simpsons only did The Simpsons. Well, not only. But they, they stayed on The Simpsons. Money? They can't be making that much, right? Except Apu. Yeah, except Apu. 
and uh, Hibbert. <laughs> I just, I feel like they don't make that much money. Maybe everyone is friends. Maybe. That's a good answer. Could be. I don't know. What else are you going to do? Stream on Twitch? True, true. Yeah, they're living the high life. Here I am talking to 18 to 24 year olds like a schmuck. Tough to bounce from job to job all the time. This is stable work for decades. Yeah, but like, not one of them wanted to leave. Not one of them. Bart didn't want to do anything else his whole life. You know what I'm saying? Dan Castellaneta didn't one time say, hmm, I don't want to be Homer anymore. Flanders' wife left for a bit. Is that true? I thought she would just... I didn't know she was, like, leaving for the whole thing, but... The lady... Oh, Maud wanted better pay for the travel she did. <laughs> they killed her. Oh, man, that's crazy. They're paid 500000 per episode. No fucking way the Simpsons make five hundred k an episode. Each of them? That's got to be, like, as a cast. There's no fucking way. Any chance there's some kind of contract slash copyright thing with their voices? No, I don't think so. Shouldn't be. It's Fox, a.k.a. Disney. I didn't consider the Disney angle, but even still. Like, that's nuts. Yes, they get paid 850 k per episode. It's true. Okay, well now, <laughs> I don't know who to believe. I thought one of you guys were a Fox executive. Silly. I got the Sonic song stuck in my head. You know the one, right? Like the menu theme? Somebody sent me a link of the Halo guy saying Mommy Milkers. But I didn't click on it in time, and now it's gone. Halo guy... Oh, wait. <laughs> Look at this. I can report this. Get that shit out of here. Don't ever recommend that to me. That was sus. Oh, my God. Mommy Milkers. O.J. Simpson. Social credit deducted. <laughs> that was sus. Uh, Pre-watched? Oh, did it have a red bar? Like that? It, it probably auto-played at some point. That. I, I leave my, like, sometimes I'll put on YouTube and I'll just run upstairs and I'll just leave my headset on and turn it off. That was sus. God, I hate children. I hate Zoomers. Coney, look up Peter Cullen. Well, before I look that up, I gotta look this up because we forgot to do it. All right, hit it. What? What? I literally don't know. Oh, it's going to be a new song, isn't it? Wait, is it that? What do I fire for you? What mommy I tell you? That one. What? Yeah, that's the one. I don't know what it's called. Is it? It's not. Who is it? Harry Styles? Adore you, is it? Okay. I don't, I don't know where I've ever heard this song, but I have heard it before. Where do I hear pop songs? Because I feel like grocery stores have had the same playlists for decades. You know what I mean? Like, grocery stores never update their playlists, and I feel like that's where I hear most of my music. Because I don't go places. Like CVS. You know what I'm saying? 
Restaurants? Yeah. Maybe. Car? When I don't when I drive I have stuff on my phone. Mal's car though. Mal has the radio on. Been out of touch with Pop since Vine went down. Isn't that crazy? I don't even know what movies are out half the time. It's insane to me. I don't like I feel so out of touch with pop culture. I don't know what's happening in the world. MCU, well yeah. That never stops. It's been going on for 20 years. Uh Money? Looks like an old movie. Well, maybe not old. Oceans. Oh, come on. Uh, that's not Pretty Woman, is it? <laughs> there is no Pretty Woman. <sighs> Lady Walking Alone, Visitor's Entrance. It's a hospital movie. Patch Adams. Oh, my God. Lady with money in her purse. She's stealing... Probably about to go shopping. Shoplifters. <laughs> Michael Keaton making a kissy face. What was Michael Keaton in? I know he's Batman. That's all I know. Bikes? Samuel L. Jackson. What the fuck movie is this? What movie is Samuel L. Jackson and Michael Keaton? I don't know what this is. The sixth shot is supposed to give it away. The sixth shot is supposed to be like, oh, yeah, I've never heard of this. Jackie Brown, I've never heard of that. Wait, that's the Quentin Tarantino movie. I have heard of that. <laughs> never mind. That's the one. I've never seen it. It's Tarantino. I, I, I'm not a huge Tarantino guy. I did not care for Pulp Fiction. I know it's blasphemy. I just, I don't know. Wasn't crazy about it. But I did like, what's that other movie? <laughs> the other movie he did, you know, the one. I like Django. Oh, I forgot I saved this for later. Hold on, somebody link this in the Discord. Game winners, but they get increasingly more impossible. I, I love sports posting. Into inbound. Harden trying to get free. Down to three, down to two. It's a three. Good! Good, Good shot. He got it! James Harden up Oh, I should get out of the way of the score. Incredible shot! Rockets by one with one second to go. Yeah. This is for the win. That was the same as the last one. It's just a three. Alright, make it more impossible. Okay, now he's almost half court. The confidence to go for a shot there. That was a good shot. Bro, they left him wide open. That's so sad. What a pass! OG Anobi buries a triple at the buzzer. How long are basketball games? They're an hour and a half, right? An hour total, but like, you know, with with time and stuff. Ninety minutes, forty-eight minutes, forty. Damn, everybody knows forty-eight. Holy shit. A triple. This literally happens to me every time in NBA Jam. Yeah, in NBA Jam, it's not even it's not even impossible. They're just on the other side of the court and just ooh. And then Marv Albert goes crazy for it every time. At the buzzer. Thunder's out of timeouts. Adams gives it back to Russ. All right, that was further back. What a perfect ending. Oh, what a shot. Dude, I'd be pissed if I'm the coach. You let them have that? I'm speechless. Artest looking, gets it to Bryant. Bryant dribbling, has to put it up at the buzzer. Banks it in. That's crazy. He banks in the three. Bro. 
Who's this guy? Who's this guy, and is he still on the heat? Who's that guy? Identify that guy right now. Number three. Somebody block him. That's Wade? What a shitty basketball player. Wade. I bet he has a dorky name, too. It'll come in, and will it get in? <laughs> Dwayne Wade, Ra he's retired? Yeah, I bet he is after that show. Oh, yeah, I bet Davis he's done. And the buzzer. It'll come in, and will it get in? It'll be what Anthony an impossible Davis. pass to and go for. Yes! Yes! Oh, Jeez. Davis comes after making that shot with the pass odd, the guy who shot it was asked how he felt when he hit the shot, and he replied saying he doesn't shoot to miss. Uh, doesn't really answer the the person's question, but that's a nice sound bite. Thanks, Grinchy. Everybody is stunned. An amazing finish for Anthony Davis. Kid's got some game. Yes, he does. <laughs> a pump fake three from 35 feet. Well, to shoot for Crawford. They got Mello on Crawford. That's six eight. Oh, this crowd's about to be so sad. They want defense. Oh, never mind. Oh shit! The crowd is furious. No way. Oh, my God. Oh, that guy's done. He's out. That's insane. This guy is so hurt. His salary just went down like 150K off that one play. Tragic. Actually, Ronnie. To get it in. Here's Luca. Gets it away. <laughs> what a delicate <laughs> shot. Uh. How did he even he make that shot? He, he wasn't even looking at it. What a shot. Damn it. Nobody in the crowd either. Nobody got to witness this. What a dagger. Five seconds left. Waiters. Back to Dwayne. <laughs> Waiters. No, he couldn't get it off. Now. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Alright, I... These shots are getting increasingly more impossible. I'll give it up. The title is true. Nuts. The Grizzlies? There's a team called the Grizzlies? Where are they from? Memphis. Wait, really? Have they always been around? I've never heard of them. And I used to play a lot of NBA Jam. Used to be Vancouver. That's what it is. I've seen Vancouver. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's always weird to me when teams move because my only experience with sports like, is, is sports games that I played on the Dreamcast. Or the Super Nintendo. <laughs> so when I found out the Rams were in LA now, I was like, uh. Won't go. Rebound taken by Iguodala. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry. Way down top. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! That's unbelievable. Bro, even the coach tried to block him on that. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! Watch the coach right here. Stop it! Stop! <laughs> Stop there! He just didn't get out ahead of him. But six tenths of a second remaining. This would piss me off, dude. <laughs> Chance to send the thunder home. Dude, you have three seconds. Take the shot. No way. Dude, when you lose the 1v1 like that, all eyes are on you. It's off the Leonard. Defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? Oh, my God. Dude, the bounce off the... Okay, so... Wait, that was the series winner? For the semis? That was game seven? That is unbelievable. They should make a movie about that. But only this. Only this one game.
Oh, man. That's where a team would, like, disband. Honestly, if I'm Philadelphia, I, like... Because everybody made, like, a couple mistakes to lead to this. If you got one more basket, or if you blocked one basket, you would have you would have won. But instead, now everybody has to go home and be sad. I feel like the whole team is mad about it. It wrecked Philly? Yeah. Yeah. They won okay. the title that year, too. Oh, my God. Only game seven buzzer beater ever, and we also went on to win it all afterwards. We? What do you... Oh, it's Toronto. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, Timmy's fan, one, two, three. All right. We. <laughs> Canadians care so much about their sports. Hmm. How pedantic. Not like us Americans. Game. Series. Toronto is Dude. Are they in Toronto here? That crowd is nuts. Take the shot. Take the shot, Wade. He redeemed himself. He redeemed himself. <laughs> oh my god. The misery on display. How tall is Dwayne Wade? He doesn't look that tall. Maybe because he's like running. The other guys look taller. 6'3", six, 6'4"? Six, ah, manlet. 6 foot. 5'11", 6'3", 6'4". 6'4 is manlet in NBA, right? It has to be. One of the game's greatest players. Can you do any more than... Taller than you. No. Well, yes, obviously, objectively. Doesn't mean he's a better person than me. I'm more suited to other things. Like getting into small spaces or being a jockey. He is taller than me, but I could... If there was a small entrance into an igloo, and inside I had to fight a boss for... I don't know, a purple banana? He wouldn't be able to do that. To Harris. Harris thought he was fouled. Harris scores! That was a mid-court shot. And the Nets, in improbable fashion, have defeated the 76ers. Oh, my God. He was... Dude, that guy didn't even try to block him. Look at this. He's fixing the game. This dude is game... Fi this is some win trading. That's actually some win trading. Dude's just like... <laughs> it's so he doesn't foul him. Foul him, bro! Oh, wait, no, you can't foul him because then he gets free shots. Dude, so I used to play a lot of NBA Jam, and I did not know what uh, what goaltending was. And I got so mad because if a ball started doing this, I'd grab that shit. I would grab it every time, and I would always lose points. I'm like, what the fuck is goaltending? And then I found out you can't... You can't hit the ball when it's in motion. And I'm like, that's the dumbest rule I've ever heard, particularly in a fucking NBA Jam game, which is a video game. Which is insane. It's supposed to be arcadey. Only when it's on the way down. I. It's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. Oh, no! <laughs> Put his hands up and everything. One point five seconds? No way. Bro was popping off before it was even close. Watch his boy right here. He had a Raven Simone moment or something. He had a vision. Watch him. He said, That's it. How did he know? He was at the K. He shot it from the K. Where's the ball? Oh, I see. It's down here. Uh, this is like a fumble. What's happening in basketball? Everybody's just all hunched up. Is this a huddle? Here okay. they go. 0.4 seconds. 
point four. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for the tier one. He'll never make this shot. They get it to Fisher. He scores! Oh, Garrett good, Fisher good. scores at the buzzer. It'll have to be reviewed. They'll review it. That's They'll crazy. They'll review it. The Lakers are going to run to the dressing room, and they'll try to get on the plane before the officials. Did he even get to look at the shot before he went for it? Review it. Like, how long did he have to look at it? How many frames? <laughs> I think it was a no look, right? All right, hold on. He makes eye contact here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ball leaves his hand at frame eight. They get it to Fisher. That's he all muscle memory. Oh, Andy switched it. Scores at the buzzer. It'll have to be that means it's one. It's a little bit over a tenth of a second, right? Review it. They'll review Yeesh. it. The Lakers are going to run to the dressing room and they'll try to get on the plane. The fastest possible time to get a shot off is 0.3 seconds. Before the officials can get over to the scorer's table. Boy, oh it was my close. God. All you had to do was block it. Live, it looked good. I thought it did too. Got it. No that one wasn't even that Toronto. impressive. They go the length of the court. Ruffin tips it away. What? And. No! Not possible! Oh no. What are you doing? Bro, hit the yoop! <laughs> if only he threw the ball harder. If he spent a little bit more time in the gym, working on those buys and tries, you know? Doing a couple more curls. Would have been able to throw it up for another second. What? He didn't even get the... That's insane. Bro, I like these jerseys. Those go crazy. Those Hornets? What an art. This crowd is done. I, dude, <laughs> I love watching these when all the lights say defense. Because you know the crowd is copiuming so hard. They are so furious. That was after the buzzer. That was definitely after the buzzer. He didn't win. Jeremy Lamb, the shot of a lifetime. He didn't make Just that. Like no timeouts. The ball is inbounded to Shea. Temple. Did not fail. Man. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, so So he sinks that did not fail. One second, one point four seconds. That's unbelievable, dude. Get out the bucket for the win. Seconds. Did not what kills me here is when that goes in, this guy's all hell no. <laughs> this guy's mad as hell. Hell no, he made that shot. I got an idea. I'm going to make a shot. Hell no, I'm about to make a shot. That's insane. One after another. Imagine how good it would feel to clutch the game that hard. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Definitely thought their thing said murder. I just saw Durr and a U. And I was like, what? Like a murder of crows? Like they're, they're like the Washington murder. And it's like crows. Mario tattoo spotted? Wait, really? <laughs> no way. Oh my god. 
Why you got Super Mario on the arm? What are you doing with Mario, bro? What the heck? <laughs> He's Jumpman. I guess he is. Sure. He does the long jump on defense. I guess that makes sense. This is so sad. This is so sad. Oh. That is just so sad right there. <laughs> Sorry, Taizai. You blew it. You don't get to try again. Once per night. Damn. That, that last one's good. That last one is excellent. I like that. Well, if we're going to be sports posting, I mean, I've had this one. I have no idea if this one's good. But I've seen it recommended a few times. Mario Baseball <laughs> is 100% realistic. I've had a few people recommend this one. This video rules. Okay, well, we'll see. Nintendo GameCube back in 2000. Mario Superstar Baseball was released for the Nintendo GameCube. I love GameCube Mario Baseball. I've always wanted to play the Nicktoon baseball game. Hold on. Have you guys seen this? It's so funny. It's Nicktoon's MLB. And it looks like this. But the funny thing about it is that there are also real baseball players. <laughs> so it's like Stimpy, Patrick, Ang, Zim. But also like, you know, Adrian Gonzalez <laughs> versus Sheen. <laughs> it looks like a very funny game. That game broke Germa. I, I can't, I can't want to play any game. He's played every game I've ever wanted to play. It's so sad. Plays all the weird games. Owned, yeah. I should have been a, I should have been a full time streamer a decade ago, so I could beat him to the punch. So sad. This is why you need to do DOS nights. I actually saw later, remember that Batman game I played? I saw that he did that. And I'm like, son of a bitch. Crazy. Okay. Back in 2005, yet it still stands strong as one of the most realistic depictions of baseball in any video game. How? Don't believe me? Well, it's 17 years later, yet we can still draw many parallels between the game's characters and real-life MLB players. And seeing as I'm the fourth Wait, most what? popular baseball YouTuber on his second most popular channel, I'm probably the perfect expert to give Mario Baseball Can you make some parallels between analysis. like Waluigi and Bryce Harper? It is a Harper? delight to watch Yoshi play the game of baseball. This German play God Hand. Yeah, exactly. I want to play God Hand. Can't do belief. that either. He has great Crazy. bat control. You know, he's a really good contact hitter, especially, and then he's just elite everywhere else. Yoshi might just be the best defender and best base runner in the entire Mushroom Kingdom. Oh my god, he's so fast. The base stealing is prolific, and his range and instincts in the outfield are unmatched. Instincts? Yoshi is Mookie Betts. There's absolutely no doubt about that in my mind. Their play on the diamond is aesthetically pleasing. They're both charismatic. They're both good hitters. Yoshi is not charismatic. Things, the speed, the defense that differentiates them from dinosaur. other stars like Juan Soto or Donkey Kong. If Yoshi stars like Juan Did Soto catch or that? Donkey Kong. Damn. He did. It's in the glove. Crazy. Any more shit food takes? <laughs> One, rude. Why so aggressive? Be nice to me. What the heck? <laughs> Where did that even come from? You just showed up and, and started firing. What did I do? We're not even talking about food. 
If Yoshi is the ideal leadoff hitter, Petey Piranha is a good sabermetric pick for that number two spot in the lineup. Petey Piranha is a pure slugger. You can ask Wario and he'll tell you the same. You can ask the shy guys and they won't tell you anything, but only because they're shy. Is Petey wearing a diaper? Or is that like a Speedo? There's a lot of people in Mario that wear these clothes. Petey Piranha hits dingers. He's not the most disciplined batsman. Why does he wear pants at all? Yoshi doesn't wear pants. You know what I mean? Was there a reason in like one of the games or something? I don't... Petey Piranha... Might be part of him. It's the same color of his, as his head. Well, that's convenient. Piranha hits dingers. He's not the most disciplined batsman, but that's okay. And with no designated hitter <laughs> in Mario... He's not the most dis... If a wizard couldn't stop the ball from going into home run... I'd be furious. This fucking wizard can't will the ball backwards? What kind of shitty mage is this? Discipline batsman, but that's I okay. guess that'd be cheating. And with no designated hitter in I'd Mario like, Superstar Baseball, it becomes a question Kamek of where blows. he fits in defensively. And Dude, I forgot Kamek is going to be in the movie. Catcher. That's crazy. He has a great arm, and he can just kind of hang out behind home plate. Yeah, he's not the most enthusiastic of pitch framers. Ring a bell? Yep. Petey Piranha is Salvador Perez. They're home run hitting machines. True. They're catchers with quick pop time. I just know not known is. for great receiving. Mario is a great athlete. An underrated athlete. Once they install StatCast and Mario is Bro, a great Koopa athlete. Bro, Koopa didn't even try under on this one. He has wings. Look how slow he is. Rated athlete. Once they install StatCast in Mario Stadium, he's going to have a lot of red circles on his baseball savant page. Especially when it comes to the exit velocities on his star hit. Right field is a really good spot for him because he has an absolute cannon arm. Oh my god! It's like he's got a bullet what a bill throw. to his shoulder. And the bat is solid, consistent. He bats third in my lineup. Mario is Avisael Garcia. Congrats, Marlins fans. Your team has basically signed a less marketable version of Mario to a four year deal. Both are very solid. <laughs> that guy was running after the ball. To a <laughs> These fucking guys. Oh shit! Deal. Get it. <laughs> Both are very solid ball players with underrated athletic. You can buy that at the store. Throwing arms. The main difference is that Avisael Garcia doesn't have to worry about getting trucked by a chain chomp. Oh, I forgot the Nokis nice are in this catch. game. And then there's Bowser, the prototypical cleanup hitter. What can we say about Nokis Bowser that? that hasn't been what are they said doing already? Now? He's an icon, and he's an extra base hit machine. I don't know if his spiked bat would work in today's MLB, but it certainly works for him on the GameCube. Bowser has all of Petey Piranha's home run power, but is much more well-rounded as a hitter. He Bro, also has the very second. good pitching ratings. But can't he's play not baseball for Shohei shit. Otani. Shohei Otani is fast. Bowser is not. He's kind of <laughs> a statue again, at first letting base. it go over his head. You've probably guessed it already, but Bowser is Babe Ruth. Oh How shit! How could he not be? Like the Bambino, Bowser was a really good pitcher, but he gave it up to become the Mushroom Kingdom's finest hitter. Gets Daisy to be Babe is Ruth. Good at everything. Her greatest That's quality sick. is that she's a natural at shortstop and an above-average hitter. Kamek sucks sure in every game anyway. Season season I can't believe upside. he's got... Wait, who voices Kamek? I don't remember. Isn't it like... Hold on. Mario movie Kamek voice. Oh, yeah. Kevin Michael Richardson. Who's Cleveland on the Cleveland show. <laughs> Hope he does the same voice. That's really I love that actually. He's everyone on the Cleveland show? No, he's not. He's in the Boss Baby and Uncle Grandpa. This guy does movies. Oh, he's that voice. In Lilo and Stitch, is he the he's the agent? Oh, no, he's Captain Gontu. Yeah, no, I can hear his voice now. That's Kamek? Kamek is going to sound like that guy? Wait. 
No. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Why Jimmy and Cindy could have been more. Who makes these? Who's shipping Jimmy and... I can't. Why am I getting recommended this shit? Captain Gontu voice. In Kingdom Hearts. Here we go. <laughs> this is Kamek. <laughs> I'm taking you in. Surprise! I've got gotcha. you. See how you like this. I've had enough. We finish this now. <laughs> Hold still. Cut it out. That's not what I expected Kamek to sound like. What? Huh? Why are you? Oh, not again. Huh? Bring it on. That's right, I win. This game's over. You haven't won yet. T That's nuts. Isn't he Principal Lewis, too? Yes, actually. That is who he would be. That's crazy. Uh, that. <laughs> Wait, wasn't Cleveland originally voiced by a white guy and they changed that? I think they did that recently. Like a few years ago. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Cleveland was a white guy. And they changed that. Yeah. That's gonna be Kamek's voice. That's so weird. But her overall skill set makes her one of the better players in the league. I really like her star swing, the flower ball, which obscures the ball to make Where her the hell is the ball? machine. Just like the really high Babips we see in Coors Field. That's right. Daisy Daisy's is most cheating. comparable to Trevor Story. I don't know what Can Trevor Daisy Story would do that to the ball, agency, like, but I think whatever team gives Trevor Story a big contract turn the ball into a big ass flower. They did. <laughs> These two are just great players. Some might complain about the ballparks inflating their numbers, but I think Daisy spraying the ball into the sandstorm is just good <laughs> fundamentals. I want to play this Troopa game. is pretty similar to this Daisy. This game looks pretty funny. You could play him at shortstop, but he's probably better off at a position like second base. Koopa Troopa is one of those guys who can put up some really oh, good numbers. Oh, I forgot. Numbers, In this game, if you're friends Koopa with Troopa someone, you you like throw to them better. That's actually kind of deep. Because like you could put people with good synergy on something. Ah, yeah, there's chemistry. That's a neat game mechanic. Although, I guess it probably gets solved, right? That's probably very easily solved. Like, there's always a best place to put people. Is one of those guys who can put up some really good numbers, but still doesn't get talked about much. As an ally of Bowser, it might just be because there's an esports e scene, they draft people. I gotta clutch. watch that. Bowser's record I gotta watch the esports for this the game same as the twins record nice. in the playoffs over the last couple decades So Koopa is basically Jorge Polanco Polanco is a good underrated player on a team that just seems a little bit cursed these days mm. He's a better power and he loves hitter than Bowser. Koopa, but everything else seems pretty spot-on Waluigi was born to pitch just look <laughs> at him. He's a tall Randy Johnson. All gangly left. He's the unit. Ridiculous stuff. Waluigi might or just Bryce have Harper, the best the guy that we learned in the league. <laughs> just a textbook. He's the High unit. Velo Scherzer. That's the guy. That's what I meant. And if that I get wasn't them mixed enough, up. The That's misfit. Horizontal movement he can impart on his breaking balls is out of this world. Oh, cheating ass. When you step into that batter's box and see a guy wearing overalls, you're probably going to strike out. Waluigi so is Chris Sale. They have the Ooh. same build. They have the same pitching repertoire, and they're both just kind of weird, eccentric guys. Chris Sale's a uniform vandalizer. Waluigi is very particular about wearing... Donkey Kong uses a glove? Sale's a uniform vandalizer. Waluigi is very... That would hurt. ...very particular about wearing purple. It fits. Also, That's sick. neither of them are I... in Super Smash Bros. There aren't a lot of players like Toadette in today's league. Damn, that's a like lot of characters. Left field, where her range creates a three-headed defensive outfield monster with Yoshi and Mario. I think it's comparable to the ah, mid-2010s Royals teams rolling out outfields featuring Gordon, Kane, and Dyson. It's where extra base hits go to die. And Toadette's a great base stealer, too. 
comparable to Yoshi oh, in she's that fast. category. It's just that there aren't a lot of corner outfielders with such little power in today's MLB. Though I will give you one, Rymel Tapia. I thought that ball was going to come for me. I don't know why. Did anybody else lean back? Dude, I don't know why. I thought... I don't know why. I, that ball, MLB. like, for somehow, Though I think he has he hit it, it, and it didn't move anywhere. I thought it was a jumper, too. Okay, thank God it wasn't just me. Watch! Because, like, it doesn't Ryan go in. You see that? See how it only comes forward? Tapia. Tapia is interesting because... I'm just used to vines course, and TikToks, I guess. offensive skill set really doesn't suit it at all. He'd probably be better anywhere else. And I think Toadette is in many ways a player that Rymel Tapia should aspire to be like. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be towards the bottom of the lineup, but she's still a solid everyday player because of her speed Dude, and defense. Imagine you're a professional baseball player at the top of your game, paid millions a year, and a YouTuber tells you you should be more like Toadette. And then there's Baby Luigi. Don't be Baby, baby Luigi. Luigi. is a dumb baby who stinks at baseball. Don't be and Baby Luigi. I get that Luigi. he's young, but he doesn't really have He didn't even catch the ball? Diamond. That's why I'm comparing him to you. That's right, you, the viewer watching this. No, I'm good at baseball. I would hit a home run. Actually, I take that back. He's good probably base still hit. better than you. No, he's not. There you have it. Honestly, if you squint it's not a true. little, I'm good at I think Mario Superstar Baseball I was a pitcher is and a shortstop from its real life I was very good at it. Believe it or not, this is a clip from I was Mario always a nice Superstar base hit. Baseball, and this is a clip from Major League Baseball. Yeah, I know. I can't tell the difference either. Dislike and report for harassment. <laughs> oh shit, Leon Massey? I forgot to watch this video. Oh shit. I wanted to watch this. Because I hate motion inputs. I hate that shit. Take that shit out of the game. I hate motion inputs, bro. Do it now? I will, but I got to go to the bathroom. Uh, Don't leave. Don't leave, obviously. Don't leave. I got a 117 animal facts. Surely I could pee in two minutes. Oh, it's not a video. What? Okay. Surely I could pee in 13 minutes. The animal minutes. kingdom is full of Don't leave, of don't leave. I'm going to pee. I'll be right back. One it's second. a world that never ceases to amaze us with all sorts of wonder and incredible feats. There are animals that can do seemingly impossible things, such as traveling faster than a sports car, having the ability to kill someone with the mere brush of its hairs. On today's list, I've searched high and low to find some of the most interesting animal facts out there. There are so many, but I have narrowed them down to 25. These are 25 amazing animal facts you might not know. Twenty-five. If you enter into a boxing match with the peacock mantis shrimp, you'll lose. This little guy can throw a punch at an average speed of 50 miles an hour and holds the title of the world's fastest limb movement. The shrimp accomplished this incredible feat thanks to a small saddle looking structure in its arm. When the arm is cocked, this structure is compressed and acts like a spring, which when released, expands and provides the energy for the punch. 24. Oh, is it the mantis the shrimp peacock again? peacock mantis shrimp may hold the title. Bro, they always talk about mantis shrimps. That's all they ever do. That's always the... Oh, did he say what I think he said? When the arm is... What? <laughs> I washed my... God, you guys are so annoying with this. I always wash my hands every time. Stop. For the fastest limb movement. I don't not kingdom. wash my hands. I almost got the moves match link. What is this Elmo video that you keep linking?
Why did you donate this? I don't think Big Bird has any moves. Oh shit, I'm wrong. Never mind, my bad. I don't know why you donated this. 250 million views on that. Holy shit. In Street Fighter he did have the moves. I don't think he hit it, Coney. I don't have the moves. They asked if I had the moves. I don't have the moves. I just don't have the moves. I'm sorry. Unreleased in Japan to a resounding. Big Bird has the you, moves. You walked all weird. Every attack is either instantaneous or requires a Mayan calendar to predict when it will come out. You can't even jump correctly. It was a game that you could describe as fun, so long as it was spelt without the N and with a couple extra consonants. Among the trash fire was a quirky little mechanic where you'd perform special moves by swiveling the movement stick in the right game. motion alongside a corresponding input. A motion input, if you will. But it wasn't just the motion. It also required... Shut up, Momo. Where's Hip Hop Harry? Shut up about Hip Hop Harry. <laughs> I should have never shown that to you guys. Trick timing. And when placed alongside the control problems of literally every other mechanic was intensely frustrating in a game already full of frustration. Yeah, this doesn't the look attacks good. might have been putting your opponent's life bar through the floor and their face through the you cabinet. You don't want to see but hip -hop the reward you got from the move only cushioned the blow of how aggravating it felt to get there. Fireballs also tanked the frame My rate, dad but loved I think this that's game. the least no, of our problems. We should probably get rid of the whole punching nipples gimmick to determine attack strength. While we're at it, how about we add a couple different playable characters? I feel like maybe revamp like revamp all the movement, develop an incredible soundtrack, know. and oh. 10,000 people played that total for across the genre. world. For the near infinite list of changes made to create debatably the most important game of all time, a lot of them were merely refinements. You don't have to commit to walking, attack timers are far more understandable, you can actually jump instead of whatever the but fuck this But it's a bad was. idea, don't Street jump. Street Fighter was now infinitely more accessible and intuitive in every aspect, even in those motion inputs which stayed over. Hadouken still hurt the CPU as much as the opponent, but getting an attack to come out now doesn't require you to align your chakra as a CPU. I've always wondered this. Is a Hadouken slowdown on purpose? Or is that because, like, the game is lagging? It's actually, it's supposed to slow down, right? I always thought it was like, you know, the game is like, I don't know. It was like the the game I don't it is lagging because it's such a cool move or something. I don't know. Much as the opponent slow motion they, imitation. Okay, that makes sense. Getting an attack to come out. Oh, because he got dizzy. That might be why. Over. Hadouken still hurt the CPU as got much it. as yeah, the opponent. Okay, but getting an dizzy. attack to come okay. out now doesn't require you to Maybe align your it. chakras and pull a McTwist to whiff DP. You still had to pull off the motion, but you no longer had to do it with such restrictive timing. So long as your stick went this way, and it was followed fairly quickly by the right button, and you're all good. In Street Fighter 1, you only had three motions to go along with your three special moves, shared between Ryu 1 and 2, but the sequel introduced new characters, with new moves, and with and it I came their own remember unique them. motions. You've I don't still remember got any of their moves. And Zs, but now you've also got half circles, full circles, holding down one direction for a while, and flicking the opposite way after a predetermined amount of time. I still don't know how to do a 360. Can one of you guys tell me? I always just did it by jumping first. Buffer it? What does that mean? You buffer it during a move lag. Ah! Interesting. See, this is why I like this stream. We can have a little, you know, it's an exchange of information. I give a little and I get a little. That's nice. Got it. Circles. Holding down I've one never done a 360 while, input. The opposite way after a predetermined so amount. his moves have to be laggy by design. So you can input the 360. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting game design. Not every input ended up How being wise. shared between the characters. And as a result, you not only had a cast that were functionally diverse, but also felt distinct in their control. 
As a result, you're likely to develop an attachment to the characters that control the way that you like and dislike those who go by inputs that you're not aligned it's with, so even slow if all on of the it was easier than the mess that came prior. Since the motions got easier, the moves that came out of them <laughs> also stopped smiling. being win buttons with extra steps. Instead, being able to perform a motion input granted you access to moves with unique properties, though they weren't exactly going crazy with it. That was until other developers started chiming in and it doing their own thing. still blows my mind what that those developers did wasn't a special like stage mechanic specifically for vega on this stage when vega jumped on that cage i went insane until other developers started chiming in and doing i thought that was thing. the coolest what shit i'd ever seen did wasn't necessarily interesting they iterated on a concept mortal kombat experimented with double tap inputs like placing more emphasis on used to make me of inputs yeah i didn't know what to do with it of them. i didn't know SNK how to block it it was a cross generation of players through control scheme hell Thing is, these games were cashing in on the overflowing success of Street Fighter 2. Realistically, their games copying the homework from Capcom's brainchild, which in reality just worked on the work of its older brother. And then the games that followed that copied them. <laughs> Systems were taken, but were only changed in yeah, minor what are ways to be comfortable like? to the existing audience that they were trying to steal from. Because Mortal Kombat Soon is like back forward became a standardization punch, within the genre thanks to audience expectations, a standard that hasn't shifted up until today. Problem is They're that hard? for all the slight changes to input management that Two, three, might have six. made motion okay, inputs so more comfortable for the people that could already do them, they never changed to shift with the expectations of a wider gaming audience. But the games that they're inside of have changed a lot. Not to mention the type of environment that we're playing them in. We aren't playing in arcades anymore for a pound to play for two minutes. We're in our rooms, taking 50 pound and choosing between King of Fighters and Elden Ring, and expecting to be able to sit down and enjoy ourselves for at least an hour. True! And then we play Kill motion inputs! Anyway. Harder input for higher award was very direct in Street Fighter 1, but even as soon as Street Fighter 2 rarely was that the case. He's and in spinning. the modern era, that line is as stringent as it's ever been. Motion inputs now aren't really connected to any preconception of reward. Sometimes they're not even connected to an attack, or are tied to moves that require a lot more understanding to use effectively. Well, that's interesting. But the barrier that they impose- That's an interesting idea, the fact that, like, the motion inputs used to be, like, directly correlated with a hit, but now they're more for- they could do anything. Motion inputs are pretty much everything. Those ...is still ah. in place, so what value do they bring to fighting games as a system? And what drawbacks do they supply? Let's start off real obvious. Yeah, I loved Venom. Shoryukens, or the universal idea of a DP, is very common within fighting Guilty games. Gear. It's a move that normally goes up, normally is invincible on start-up, but not always, and often functions as the most secure anti-air in a player's arsenal. Generally speaking, they have a motion that goes like this, and is often the clearest example of why motion inputs do have value. No motion because of how the motion chest. No, the motion move inputs are a bad chest. performing certain actions, but only I based the on right their buttons. Ability. Now let's make this very clear right now. The input won't stop me from doing this. Look everybody, I did the move! But if you're getting hit by this, bat chest. that's on you. The motion doesn't impact spam Your bat or chest. repetition, regardless of input complexity. Instead, its real value comes from how it affects smaller situations. For example, let's say I'm fighting Dudders and he jumps over an attack. Not so we early that Dudders. I don't have time to respond, but not late enough to prepare a response. Let's also, for the sake of argument, not factor in universal parries, which are exclusive to third strike. I've got the low risk option of blocking and the medium risk option of crouching heavy, which are both tied to simple inputs. The simplest option gives me no reward, and in reality can fuck me over later, while the other rewards me slightly but flips the opponent out. Which in reality can be a good or a bad thing, depending on the Dudley's tendencies, but for the sake of the argument, let's just say that's something we don't want. Then okay. lastly we have our motiony friend, which is the fastest move and gives us the most reward, not only in damage but also in frame advantage that comes with the knockdown. However, despite technically being the, the second most... fastest option, yeah. its risk will sit somewhere between about the same as crouch heavy to Leon stop going for it you literally never hit those and yeah. that's because the player has nearly all of the control and how quickly this move comes out if you're in your 20s and you've been playing fighting games for like three or more years old? the motion's gonna have become oh, incredibly God. quick and consistent making jumping in on you I a can't terrifying do fighting experience games. I mustn't. even if I have advantage if you're on month one of fighting games unfamiliar with this situation and not as confident in the motion you aren't just gonna be slower at doing the show you can you're also gonna be more prone to error. I remember it took me years to not accidentally flop a Hadouken out of my hands, and even now sometimes it happens. 
this makes the jump in scenario one with a lot of room for skill display, where you See, aren't just given right and wrong choices, but bad to excellent ones that fluctuate based on how well the player can access their tools. See, my whole thing is this is the reason I only play Shotos. Is because, like, all these other characters have so many other variations on this stuff and so many other setups and shit, where Shotos are just so easy and it's been the same fucking inputs for 50 years. Like, I don't have to think about it, right? It's, like, immediate, instinctive. If a player's really good at motion inputs and they choose to block an attack that they could have I just have to play Ken. Through, it might have been a choice that was right, but still a choice that was bad. The risk for that player was very low, and they've thrown away advantage that basically up-forwarded into their hands. If a player's really bad at motion inputs, and they choose to block an attack that they could have potentially sure you'd through, it was a choice that was not only right, but good for that player. They've decided against putting themselves at risk by understanding their own limitations, and uh -huh. not greeting in a position that they're not likely to be able to capitalize on. If you removed the motion input and assigned Shoryu to a single button, you'd not only need to change the start up on Shoryu to not invalidate yeah. Crouching Heavy Punch, but you'd also severely reduce the complexity of the situation. The game itself not so would much suck. That you'd eliminate it entirely, but enough to frustrate the people that are looking for more. It'd be like this Thunder Rising or whatever the hell that game is. And go, these are fucking rad. The moves are the same between every player on paper, but their own ability provides different moves with their own benefits and drawbacks. What do they mean by motion inputs? Yeah, like, uh, like, like Hadouken and shit. Just like any input or any move that requires like motion. Unique to the individual's perspectives. The intention of motion inputs in sure, the modern use, space toxic, is not like necessarily to be a system that has harder input for higher reward. Instead, it's supposed to occupy the same space as something like your ability to aim well in a precision shooter, a basic function that the player has control over all times, yeah, but their ability just to control it changes how it can be applied. Come on, Leon! Oh, 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 oh. The in only every game, being that here the barrier is at the point where you access the what move, can't he do? Exclusively, Cody can't do that either. Shut up. Controlled. I'm good at Valor. Okay, Put League in this. Only the key. Put difference. League in this shit. When you take into account how emotion might interact with movement and blocking, it all works towards a goal of making the player unique in their ability to control their character, which is thanks, good. creature son. But. It's not without its issues. Don't show that, not on no, my don't stream. Don't get me wrong, I think that motion inputs can be fun, and not even exclusively in relation to fighting games. The fact that Skate, a game that has motion inputs at its functional core, is so fun is a testament to the fact that unconventional input Ooh. systems can be engaging. But while I think it's fun for everyone here in an environment where there's no stakes and you decide the pace of everything yourself, I think it poses some issues in the way that we interact with fighting games. Yeah. Mostly at the entry level, though not exclusively. Yeah, for how do you example, get people to stay I invested? This, this is this going game. somewhere. The hellhole that is League of Legends. Let's go! Let's go! Finally! Finally! We're talking. And he's talking about my favorite champion, bro. That's my fucking dude. Let's go, Leon. We're League Posting. We're League Posting tonight, baby. I actually relapsed today. I don't know if you guys saw my tweet. I played like four games <laughs> on the secret stream. It's so sad. It's so sad. Hey. Can, if you got a Prime, could you check below the stream, see if you have one? It's a free sub. You might have it. If not, we're so close to 2,600. I think at 2,600 subs, I'll really be able to get the help I need. It would mean a lot to me. We're only four away. Guys, if you have a Prime, just take a look. Go below the stream. Click the button that says continue sub or sub for the first time. Please, I really appreciate it, okay? And then maybe I, I can get off this game. I don't like the key to access alt, I can change Someone that. help me. The input please. to access the tool is kept very simple, because the game wants us a lower barrier you, between Kev you and Thank using you so the tool much. in your path towards victory. The Kony that picked up fighting games instead of League is a much happier Kony. That's an interesting idea. I've been playing League for 10 fucking years, and it definitely makes me a worse and more unhappy person. That's fascinating. But also... I feel like I might be, I might have gone into fighting game commentary, and I might have gone, <laughs> how do I put this? I've seen what has happened to some, some old school fighting game commentators. Uh, they've gone off the deep end. Maybe it would have sent me, uh, down the funnel, you know? <laughs> Yeah, clueless aware, down the dark path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that goes for every tool in almost every game. Input in you get most what I'm major multiplayer you get what I'm titles saying. is extremely modular. I got out of League before it was due. To be... League is my dark secret. 
But I'm still, I can still function on the outside. I'm like Patrick Bateman in American Psycho. You all see me here, right? You guys see me here. And I, I put up the veneer of success and charisma, as you all know. But uh, but behind the scenes, I'm actually a da- Well, no, I'm not that, though. Because I'm not a psychopath. I took a test, but... The vessel that the player uses to interact I'm with the game... I'm just saying it's a different the type of, you away. know... It's why you can change things like camera sensitivity... I can, I can, I can switch at a moment's games notice. Games might be made with a specific controller in mind, but the controller is not designed to be a part of I the game. I am simply Most not there. Most of the time, single mechanics are separated across the input device. So while mechanics might interrupt or interact with other mechanics in the game, on the controller, they're disconnected. You can use as much I, input I as you like to call for Many saying for the last like, five minutes. The game only cuts off actions. Patrick Bateman is literally me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The mechanical level. That's me. Generally speaking, this creates a fluid control scheme, although not always fluid mechanics. Fighting games, on the other hand, are partially modular. You can change the buttons that correspond to what attack type and even assign the directional axis to different sections of an input device, but it's impossible to remove the actions from the axis and how they're accessed inside of it. The controller, to a large extent, is designed into the game. Okay. At its worst, this leaves people with certain types of impaired motor function to be severely limited in how much of the title they can experience. Sure. At its best, this means that character choice is not just a question of mechanical function and control, but also a question of physical it's control. Physical. I look yeah, at yeah, most yeah. big body okay. grapplers with quite a lot of interest. They're normally very hard read centric and are normally more visually grotesque. Why is Hugo doing this? Than many others in the car, is which is a quality I fucking adore. Why is but his head always it. doing this stuff? Why? because 360 motions. <laughs> More specifically, attacks that have up inputs inside feel wildly uncomfortable to me. For me, this is a so lockout wiggly. of playing a character type that I would like to play, but it's not a problem with 360 motions. Each player will find their own unique quirks of what they do and don't like about the controls and the motions they're specifically averse to, and as such, characters that might functionally appeal may not physically appeal. I played Bedman for the first year of playing Guilty Gear properly because the motions were simple and the characters that I wanted to play were characters that I couldn't use the motions for. If players could at least rebind attacks to different motions, you'd eliminate some of this disconnect between the ideas that they want to play with and the controls preventing them from getting there. So like if you could put 360s on Ryu, like if you could make Hadouken a 360, I guess is what he's saying? Okay. Sounds awful, but I get it. But since moves... Why would you want to do that? Well, I think the other idea is, like, in reverse, right? Zangief can now do, you know, the pile driver with a quarter circle. But also balanced by how it interacts with the controller, it's also I just don't want those motions that you'll ever be provided with that freedom. That begs the question... I hate that how shit. How does a motion provide balance? Maybe you do... Maybe you could go the Smash route. Smash's route is actually kind of neat, where... If you just hit up B on Ryu, he'll just do the up B. But if you do the motion input, it does more damage and knockback. So, you know. If we go back it to allows the previous people example, to... sure you can... I know, I'm Smash posting. Input, I'm sorry, but you get it. Crouching heavy you get what I'm it's saying, faster, right? Safer, it's a good idea. Guaranteed reward, Come on. But the motion provides it with some Come risk. Come on. Since the axis that controls a motion input also Grand controls Blue blocking, in this scenario, no, Smash holding does back that. is the only Smash way you can did it block. First. Crouching Heavy Punch requires an input that cannot double up as defense, but is a very fast input. Shoryuken, on the other hand, requires you That's to pass through three different best fighting inputs games. Good that point. do not permit you to defend, before you can even have the move come out to potentially trade. If we were to assume that I represent the average seasoned player, I can do this motion in 10 frames on left and 8 frames on right. This means that while Shoryu might technically be yeah, active on frame on the two, right. the startup for the move is 2 frames, Let's plus go, however quickly I can input the motion, extending the amount of time that I cannot defend myself. This is why when sure you like moves aren't on this motion and are given what inputs that are this? either quicker or more defensive, their properties often account that for ugly. For every attack that has direct attack properties, the motion is considered in how Fantasy it impacts strike, the, fight. That shit gross. the way that most fighting games are built P from a balance perspective Yuck. and what makes individual moves Yuck. so interesting <laughs> is the exact same I've thing that stops them being from asshole. being more flexible from the perspective of control. <laughs> Since giving the player the ability to shift the input around gives them 
the chance to make inputs easier or quicker than intended. For little Leon learning fighting games, this left me exclaiming, WHY DOES THIS GAME CONTROL LIKE SHIT?! I didn't grow up with fighting game culture, so I wasn't exactly prepared for this control scheme. CS does not ask me to rush B and then play my ocarina to pull out my fucking smoke. So when Hadoukens <laughs> did, it felt pretty arbitrarily complicated. That's a good one. Now, That's pretty it's funny. not because moves use one, motions Leon. to balance moves, but without having already achieved the skill to see from that perspective, the controls come across as dysfunctional. What made that so obtuse wasn't just the motion inputs alone, but more the fact that the stick is getting incredibly overworked. It controls all of your movement sure, and blocking yeah. and motion inputs, meaning you're using one input to call for three different actions, sometimes all at the same time. Oh, and also your character is controlled relative to the other character and all the characters have different controls. And it was at this point where I traded in Street Fighter 4 and <laughs> continued to play League of Legends Let's for go! three years. Since there's so much packed into one- Bro, I fucking love Leon. That's my guy. That's my fucking dude. Maxis. We have lived the same life. Literally me, dude. I, I bought Street Fighter 4. I played with my friends. I played Abel, I think, for a while. And I was just like, I hate this. I gotta remember all this bullshit. Fuck that. It's not only hard to I love use Leon. Motion. He definitely still watches Cody. Dude, Leon, I, I've said this before. Leon used to be a regular viewer. I love Leon, bro. Inputs effectively, He's moved on to bigger and better things. It's extremely difficult to balance the other two actions in between fucking You up. played the white bread character and hated the game. Who, Abel? Abel rules, bro. We love Abel. You're super. This leads to many, many, many moments where new players' expectations on what they're inputting and what actually comes out do not align. This tangling it's of systems suck to be on a one new player input device isn't game. without purpose. Knowing how and when to switch between all the different actions is a part of what creates a traditional fighting game's unique character control and contributes heavily to skill gaps. My offensive control could be good, but if I haven't put the time into practicing swapping to defense quickly, I'm gonna get my ass beat. And I do. I stopped playing fighters for a month and suddenly I can't block. But unlike other games that have this kind of physical skill display, all of these actions being on one input makes your character control unique in how well you can overcome the limitations the systems impose. So when new players aren't used to overcoming that hurdle, or the hurdles start to physically change- Kona, you should co-stream the NBA 2K League right now. No. The only thing I want to see from NBA 2K League is rage compilations. 2K Rage is so funny. With each really, any game rage is funny, but 2K rage is hilarious. Character, of course, those it's dudes talk shit. Motion inputs aren't necessarily to blame here, but they contribute heavily to the challenges that the game puts in front of the player. Coney, EE e. is streaming Roblox right now. Go watch him. Why would you tell me that? Not by asking them to put different gameplay elements together to find solutions. Why would you come in here and tell me what someone else is doing? By asking them to work through restrictions. There are thousands of streamers on Twitch. What are you doing? Conceptualized. And then restrictions really can be interesting. And come I'm on. not just saying that because I like traditional fighting games. Like how charge motions that require you to be holding down or back for a certain amount of time ask you to plan ahead and force you to hold ground. Troops 24 7 is online. Thanks. Help. If you're really tricky with it, you can start charging inside of fixed movements like jumps or advancing attacks. And once you've got charge, if you want to do any other action that requires another point on the axis, you have to throw away that charge. Chat, stop informing me of this. Stop informing me, please. I know. I know. I don't. I know all of these things you're telling me. I already know all of this. I know everything that you're telling me already. I know everything on Twitch. Thank you. If you know the opponent is a charge character, you can then start to plan smaller scenarios around breaking their charge. It's really cool. Also, uh, holy fuck, like side tangent inside of side tangent. This fucking Venom combo is so fucked. The charge motion's down, but the I move that Venom. comes directly beforehand is a forward. So you have to slam the stick back just to get time for the charge so that the ground bounce combos with the ball. Okay, I, I was never good at Venom. I didn't know any sick. of these. This shit right here, or this? Wouldn't be nearly as satisfying if it wasn't emotion. I will die on this hill. But I also can't expect everyone else to. Here's a novel bombshell for you. 
Making video games is surprisingly very hard. Not only in the process of making a good game, but also satisfying the audience who's spending their money on it. A part of that is thanks to the Copium, reality yeah. that what turns on Lazy one devs. player turns off another. Properties create preferences, and at the end of the day, motion inputs are a property, not a fundamental only if you're element of gameplay and that this death, video might true. imply that it is, or a dated barrier that no longer serves a purpose that this video might also imply it is. It is a gameplay spice, and like all spices, it's down to your own perception whether or not you like what it brings to the dish. The objective effects of motion inputs is that it makes the moves that they're attached to more complex to access. That is it small and unassuming, but much like a good marinade, it's how it clings to the rest of the dish that matters. To Anna. He is British. They love Nando's over there. Isn't that so weird? What Do I have any British posters in the chat right now? Why do you guys like Nando's so much? We have that over here, but like I hear it's a big deal over there. What's going on over there? Some cheeky Nando's. I mean, I like Nando's, don't get me wrong, but like... Apparently, Britain goes crazy for Nando's. Because it's nasty good. I mean, it's good, but, like, they're just so cheeky. <laughs> it's their cultural thing, you know. What's our Nando's? What's the American? Is it just McDonald's? Ruby Candies. Uh, how strong is Gorilla? Incredibly strong. A gorilla would kill any other animal. Except maybe a polar bear. McDonald's is worldwide. Yeah, what's what's the thing we like? Chick fil A. Eh. No. Applebee's. And I'm gonna stop That's using it. this analogy now. Character we love Applebee's. Harder, not because motion inputs All of alone us. are difficult, but because of the balancing act of the systems that it's interconnected Denny's? with. Denny's? Learning uh. new characters isn't as straightforward, because motions as a system never gained universalization, since most motions are used to give characters further identity. Motions in many games aren't removable, because moves are balanced in the knowledge of how they're accessed via its motion. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide whether or not that's a good or a bad thing, but if you'd let me do an Anthony Fantano for a moment, I'd like to try in with my two cents into your potential opinion. Mm -hmm. I liked him, but as someone who's interested in fighting games is falling rapidly, I'd be lying if I said that they weren't a contributor as to True. why it's falling. Having to learn a whole new set of controls with each new character is an active detriment to my ability shit to sucks. shit. It keeps me locked into playing a small set of characters, since I don't want to throw away the basic input that I'm used to just to learn a new character. At that point, I would just play a different game. Motion inputs aren't alone in causing this problem, but it is a contributor, and when I, as an experienced player, am getting sick of the first Bad challenge player being posting. accessing Literally, past my yes. toolkit, I can't imagine it's a challenge people want to overcome when they haven't got the knowledge of the more interesting challenges that lie ahead. At the same time, when I'm playing a character I'm familiar with, I forget that it exists in the first place. All of the interesting elements about how it extends risk mm. isn't something to actively think about. I don't think there's any value to the system at the entry level, and I've stopped seeing the value to them at the high level. Sure. To me, they're sitting in a state of redundancy, and while I understand their necessity in the games that we already have and don't want them to go anywhere in existing titles, I'd like to see more titles in the future get rid of this feature. In you could make the same argument for L canceling, right? The idea that it is it is strictly a barrier that creates the skill gap between that that sort of functions as the earliest skill gap between people who don't know what they're doing and people who know what they're doing. And then at the high level it's not even a thought. It's just second nature. But it is just one button, so it is different. But I don't think I don't think it matters because the whole point that that he's making is that at the end of the day it's not about the complexity of it because it becomes second nature and it's not even a, a cognizant thing that you do. Even if you fuck it up, you're trying to do it. Does that make sense? Probably without a thought. I can do motion inputs in a vacuum. I just hate doing them within a match and it makes me not want to play the match. Because when I, and I always just thought my brain wasn't wired for fighting games, if I'm being honest. Whenever I pick up a fighting game, I can play one character. Because I don't want to learn all that bullshit. I'm going to play one character. And then if that character isn't fun, or if I run into an issue, I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. 
And I feel like that gating off so much of the game like that is always going to create an issue where people are not going to get deep enough into it. And maybe I'm just alone in how I think. I've felt that way for a long time. But I do feel like fighting games are at this interesting crossroads where, like, this isn't sustainable. I thought I was alone, but this is consistently a thing for fighting games where they'll pop off for two weeks, a month, and then just, boo! You know? All these games come out, and then the player base just dies. How do you keep people locked in? And I guess that's the biggest problem that Project L is going to have to... I'm sure they're going to answer it because it's Riot and they're good at this, but... Just like most games? Yeah, but that's not the same because most games don't require multiple people. Like, fighting games are inherently multiplayer. If I play Horizon Forbidden West for a week like I did and then I stop playing it, that's fine. Oh my god, thank you all sham no wow. Holy crap, thank you for the raid. Hello everybody, welcome. We're people talking about fighting games. Thank you. I'm saying if I if I play and quit a single player game, there's no harm to the game. But if I drop out of a multiplayer game, I'm one player that won't be there in a month. And if only the best players are there in a month because they're the ones that are sticking with it, the game's going to be screwed because everybody new that's going to play is going to be bad. Or not bad, but crazy good. And you're going to be bad. They're also in this world of, like, oversaturation. There's just a new game every day, man. It's crazy. Someone said that Project L was confirmed to have Smash inputs. I mean, obviously, I like that. But at the same time, I worry that that create... That's obviously going to create new issues in a fighting game. Smash inputs, like, by making all that stuff easier, you are then creating new problems where, like... If I'm jumping in on someone and they have a Shoryu, the whole challenge is like, okay, you're not going to be able to output it before I get there. But if the window is tighter and you just have to hit up and B, right, it's a lot easier. But I'm sure they'll consider that, right? I don't know. It's, a, it's an interesting thing. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm a lot more interested in playing Project L if it doesn't have motion inputs. But I also think you can't just take motion inputs out of the game because they're a core defining feature of a whole genre that's been around for, you know, years and years. And that's what a lot of people like. And it's kind of shitty to take that away from people. You know what I'm saying? Fighting games should also find a way to incentivize players to get better at ranked. It, it could solve the player base problem. Well, Riot's very good at that. The other issue is, uh, like, I loved Knockout City, which was the dodgeball game. And then as soon as I hit the highest rank, I didn't care anymore. Because they didn't really have a good battle pass, and people weren't talking about it. I didn't really have any viewers. Like, it, it, like the community wasn't really there. It just wasn't great. And I, you know, felt like I couldn't, I had nowhere else to go. But I think Riot's really good at that. I still have that emote? <laughs> I did not know I still had that emote. I feel like League's battle pass system, or no, Fortnite's battle pass system is best in class. Knockout City was such a good game that also had a viewer loss for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, it's fine to play games that give you a viewer loss, but you always have to, like, take the... Like, as a streamer, speaking streamer to streamer, you have to, like, you have to pick your battles. Like, I had a huge viewer dip for Elden Ring, which I normally wouldn't care about, but when I only stream 12 hours a week, it's like, do I want to not give people the content that they want for, like, half of those hours every week? You know what I mean? What was wrong with the Battle Pass? I don't think, uh, I don't think Knockout City had anything on the Battle Pass. I'm not sure. You told us specifically not to watch it. That's true. I mean, Elden Ring, why would you ever watch Elden Ring? You're going to just play it. <laughs> That's true. I don't know why anybody would watch it because if you, you're not... no, Very few people will watch Elden Ring because it has to be something that you're not going to play yourself 
but also you're interested in watching someone else play. Because you don't want to spoil a Souls game for yourself. Period. I was I didn't watch anybody play it either. I wanted to watch the lore video so bad, but I abstained. Only if you're streaming PvP. That's true, I guess, yeah. It's, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how fighting games fix this issue, but I feel like it's going to be a, an ongoing one. And everybody thought Guilty Gear would get fixed. But Guilty Gear did not fix it. Guilty Gear did the same thing. And now you've got the issue where there's so many good fighting games that they're splintering, right? There's so many fighting games to play, and then Rollback is getting added to each one, like, every day. Like, didn't Rollback just get added to Blaze Blue? Like, one of the Blaze Blue games, or was it a Persona game? Do you know what I'm talking about? Persona, that's it, yeah. So, like, now, everybody that's going back to Persona probably plays the game a lot, or they did, and they're, like, pretty good at it. It's not going to bring up new people, right? I wouldn't think so, but I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Fighting games are in this very unique, interesting space that uh, feels archaic to me in a lot of ways. I'm hoping that Project L can sort of innovate on it in the same way that League innovated on Dota, Valorant uh, innovated on sort of an Overwatch uh, CSGO hybrid, and this will be different. But they've been making it forever, so part of me feels like it's... They're going to have so much trouble doing it, and that's why it's taking so long, because it's a really tough nut to crack, but maybe not. Innovative, more like simplified. Simplification is innovation. What are you talking about? Literally, innovation is driven in a lot of ways by simplifying things. That's the point. I mean, not always, because sometimes innovation is, is about uh, iterating and adding on to something. But it's about convenience. Yeah. I wouldn't play Dota. Fuck that, dude. I gotta find different buttons on all the characters in Dota? Get the fuck out of here. And I know you could do, like, QWER. Now. But, like, back in back in the first Dota or whatever, you had to, like, have different inputs. Get the fuck out of my face. Absolutely not. How about one set of inputs? Silly. It's been QWER for like 10 years. No, I know, but I'm saying, obviously. But I'm saying when League came out, it was different. It was a very long time ago. Oh, a secret shop? <laughs> more accessible doesn't mean the game is better. It just means more profit. Depends on what your, what's your measure of success. Like, is the best game the one that sells the most? Is the best game the one that is the most artistically, I don't know, valid? I don't know, uh, you know? For these companies, profit is success. So, like, why, why not take that route? Coney, don't try DNF Duel. I don't know anything about DNF Duel. I saw people talking about it, and I just didn't care. Dark Souls is very deliberately not accessible and it sells like hotcakes. Yeah, but that's that's part of the marketing, right? There will always be exceptions to the rule and the whole purpose of that is like we're not like those other games. Dark Souls 2 leaned into it like crazy and they overshot it by trying to make it too hard. A lot of their market and audience and their differentiator is being the difficult game. Right? 
Dark Souls 2 is so annoying. I hate that game. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 is the easiest. I'm not talking about the actual function of the game. The game was just annoying in that it wanted to kill you at all times. And even the story was like, you're going to die a lot. <laughs> it was all cheeky about it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> We've talked about this for a while. Well done, uh, YouTube algorithm. Oh my god, wait. More basketball? NBA bloopers, but they keep getting more embarrassing. <laughs> Excellent. In summary, fuck you, Riot. In summary... Riot, please deliver me a good game, and please work on your corporate business practices. Or whatever the fuck is going on in your office. <laughs> please do something about that. You fucking weird bosses and shit. They said no to both. Farts on your face. Sack taps you. <laughs> These companies are so weird. It's so funny to me that we now live, and I feel like it's not going to be the case forever. We live at this intersection between, like, well, I guess it will be like this, but, like, young innovators who create games and companies that are disruptive and become wildfire successes. And companies which have a serious interest in appearing professional and, like, putting on a good face. So we're at this weird crossroads where, like, these companies and businesses really need to at least appear at, at, at the public level to be professional and, you know, not uh, discriminating and all that shit. And then you've also got the CEO who made the fucking game that's just farting in people's faces and sack-tapping them and uh, calling them slurs and shit. It's so bizarre to me. And I was going to say we're probably at that era right now and it's going to fix itself. And in some ways I think it will because people are going to like see cautionary tales and be like, oh my God, that guy lost millions for being a shithead. I won't do that. But then again, there are always going to be young people doing dumb shit. Like young people are always going to be stupid. What's a sack tap? It's just a guy walking by you and like... Just on your nuts. That's it. <laughs> it's a very dude bro thing. Apparently, uh, Riot offices were like people just playing the game and just yelling slurs and shit at work. What a dream. What a job. Wake up. Hey, if you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life. There you go. Get to go to the office and just drop some bombs and then go home. <laughs> Slur Saturday, F-word Friday, get pizza and everything. Magical. Say slurs harass employees like a boss. <laughs> Insane. I just, it, it's bizarre to me that we live at this intersection between, like, technology is so accessible and you can just make a game that blows the fuck up. And also, companies have no idea how to deal with these fucking kids. Because they're stupid and young. Nuts. <laughs> the people who harass employees kick a frank. <laughs> Love to see it. Yeah, absolutely. Bogey fell down. <laughs> ball hit him. It goes out of oh, bounds. No. <laughs> and he's smiling about it, too. He Bro, tripped, no. He tried to fan out Milk? the corner. I thought about it, too. What? Oh, MLK. <laughs> The Houston Milk. What's ML... Is that... What's MLK? Is that Martin Luther King? What the... <laughs> Atlanta? Martin Luther King. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But guys, don't fucking Coney me. I thought if I said that, people would be like, wow, what do you mean? Why is that what you think, Coney? Is it a, a race thing because they're playing basketball? You guys would have been fucking weird. Shut the fuck up. How would I know that's Atlanta, chat? Huh? Think I watched this shit? 
He tripped when he tried to fan out to the corner. I'm glad he didn't hurt himself. Boy, that leg. Oh, <laughs> right I made it worse. Whatever. You guys were going to fucking... You guys were going to cook me either way. Gaslighters. Crosses him over. Into the lane driving. Oh, no. <laughs> I would pretend to have a concussion. He's going to... He's gonna try to go up. Oh, right bunk! <laughs> Hold on, you guys didn't get the you guys didn't get the good shot. Hold on, I would definitely pretend to have a concussion and be out for for ten games. Try to go up and then bunk. That's funny. He passed out. That's why he didn't block it. Right there, hit him right on top of the head. That hurts. Out the pass down low to Gortat. Otto Porter just picked up his first wide open inside is Carmelo. Oh, that's Ooh, tough. Everybody saw it too. Good pass. Carmelo was so surprised he was that wide open on his body. <laughs> oh, hello? Ball? Ball? And then you also have Ball? Kuzma is out for a week. How do they handle his minutes? Brandon Ingram battling a shoulder injury. Tyson Chandler as well as the Lakers turn it over there. Bro was just walking it. <laughs> this is like a play from like a shitty early 2000s kids sports movie where like he walks the basket up, ball up and they're like, is this part of the game? Did the play start? We got to go to the final play in the playbook. That'll never work. <laughs> it's like a little giants play. What a strategy. Harlem Globetrotters ass play. He's playing Rocket League. A shoulder injury. Tyson Timer doesn't count down Lakers. while it rolls. Wait, really? Oh. Is out the rest of this oh my God, you're right. You also have Kuzma, who's out. That's intentional. For a week, how do they handle his minutes, Brandon Ingram? Back. I thought he just didn't notice the ball. That's funny. I thought he just didn't notice it. Like, back here, it looks like he, he was like, all right, bro, let's go. And then he just glitched out. And then you also have Kyle Kuzma. Like a sim who's hungry. How do they handle his so wait, what's the blooper then? The shoulder injury. Tyson Chandler as well as the Lakers turn it over there. I mean, it was oh. funny, but they only do it towards half court. Okay. Oh, it went out. Okay. Okay, that time. You? <laughs> that will not make the highlights. That dude too strong. Damn, dude, he's got a cannon. He's not there to shoot the basketball, uh, but they need to get that. Last year was a problem. <laughs> Omega left. Thank God that was at the beginning of the game. Thank God that was early on. Would have been in a lot of trouble. What? What kind of pass is that? What the? Bro's wind trading. What? He's on the Pelicans? There's a Pelican team? Bro just said, here you go. <laughs> he thought he traveled. Oh. That's funny. That's tough. So nice for sure. Twice. Less than a minute to go. Wait, used to be Hornets. Wait, they're not the Hornets anymore? Charlotte, right? No, Pelicans wouldn't be Charlotte, North Carolina? What? What? They moved. They're not Charlotte? New Orleans. New Orleans Hornets are now New Orleans Pelicans. This is too much. Long story. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not oh listening. My goodness, Valentine. No, Whoa, no, no. Wait, what was that shot? What? what? You know? No. Oh my goodness, Val <laughs> No. You know what though? If he made that shot, it would have been on a different compilation, right? No. Oh, they're winning by so much. No. Oh no, they're bulls. They're losing. Okay. The I saw the red and I thought they were bulls, but they got away. Okay. That's Steph Curry range right there. Come on. That's Not tough. In a two possession game when you work this hard to get back in it, you can get a better shot. Valentine. And a travel call on Russell Westbrook. I don't know what traveling is. Oh. My bro is walking. Okay. 
Got it. I know it's not dribbling, but I don't know like what the rules are. Like, you know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. It happens all the time in the NBA. We just don't call it. Bro, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be called traveling if nobody's near you. That joint's just leisurely. Why do you have to dribble if nobody's close to you? It's not like you're going to drop it. You're a professional player. You get what I'm saying? If nobody's close to you, you shouldn't have to dribble it. Make the game more accessible. Because you know that you could dribble it at the top level. Players shouldn't have to dribble at all, actually. All that does is add a barrier of entry for new players. Mmm... That's interesting. Define close to you. Like a f like two feet? 24 inches? <laughs> and they should like get pads and helmets and they should do a thing where they have to like push up against each other to get the ball into the, the final spot where they score a goal. What's going on with the voice here? Oh, hell no. He threw him a pass. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Kurt, you? That's mad slippery. That floor's got to be mad slippery. I'll give it up. Oh, man. I've seen this gif enough. That would have been funny enough, even if he did make it, because he had to look back. Bro didn't trust the shot. Oh, I thought that was in. Damn, he punched the ball. Look at this dude. Oh, he's dancing. Oh, stop doing that. Charlotte Hornets. Wait a minute. Who lied to me? Huh? Wait a minute. Oh, lion ass. Oh. Oh, hit it. Hit it. Oh, too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. I have a story for all of you. When I was in high school, I was a freshman, and I was in gym class, and they made us do, like, a 40-meter dash, and they had, like, two kids racing up against each other, uh, and they made everybody else watch. And I was lined up, and the coach said, 3, 2, 1, go. And I fell down immediately. And everybody laughed at me. Yeah. Did you cry? No. I was embarrassed. I didn't cry. I was thinking so much because my I run weird because I have fucked up knees. I'm knock kneed. So my knees like bend a little bit. I have fucked up knees. I've had them since I was a kid. So I, I run a little funny. Uh, and I'm not especially fast, so I was thinking about that, and then I fell down. <laughs> I have fucked up ankles? Yeah, it's bad. Dude, I think something's wrong with my legs. Like, genuinely in my life, because they always hurt or ache a little bit. I don't know if it's just restless legs or what, but they do feel uncomfortable if I don't move them. And I've had that forever, my entire life. I don't know what to do about it. Have you seen a doctor? Yeah, and they're just like, oh, you're okay. It gets it gets worse when they're cold. Or when it's cold outside. It starts hurting. My legs are always aching, bro. I don't know what's up with my doctors. Another embarrassing moment for Decker. Oh, did he donk his face? Oh, no. Donk. <laughs> Tried to globe trot. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No, that's not going to no. <laughs> Wait, did he tackle the other guy? Ooh. <laughs> a chop block. He didn't even help the other guy up. That's crazy. That was an assassination attempt. He didn't even try to help the other guy. Oh, that's McGee. Oh, I know it. I should have known. I've seen that clip before. <laughs> It's my boy JaVale, and they made it. Oh, that's sad. 
He really was shacked in a fool. He really was. Where's he going? Oh, is that him? Is that him? <laughs> Come on, JaVale. Tough. Wait, why didn't we like that? Hold on, I gotta analyze. He sh shoots, misses. What's wrong with that play? Tried to score on the wrong goal? Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so blue is trying to score. Blue gets it. Blue sends it. Wait, what? No, I'm confused. Had time on the clock. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I should be over here. They're in overtime. Get back in he had to just hold the ball to win. New York up, just hold it. Okay. I thought you I I thought there was a shot clock. Well, I guess they could have held it for the shot clock. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would he shoot the ball? Why? Got it. Okay. Oh, it resets because he just shot. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dumb. Oh, still looking for Steph. Now Draymond's got it. <laughs> what did he do that for? Did Draymond <laughs> with no. five seconds left. Why? You got time. There's still much time with no. Steph. <laughs> Now Draymond's got it. He tried to make the shot with five se I would do this too. I have no concept of time. Oh, still looking for Steph. Now Draymond's got it. What did he do that for? Did Draymond shot a three with no. five seconds left. You know why? You know what pisses me off about this? If I did this on Smash Comms, people would bitch at me. Can't believe the commentator would call out the player or, or say that they made the wrong play or some bullshit. People would be mad at me for that. When I just call it like I see it. If somebody makes a bad play, I call it out. I got in fucking trouble that one time with that Mars Larry set. God, that still pisses me off. People are so annoying. Biased and mean. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Smash. I've seen a lot of Smash. I know when people are playing shitty. I can say it. Oh, dude, the fucking Joker at Genesis. I was like, damn, this Mars Joker is basic. I'm shocked I didn't get flamed for that. That's actually crazy. Explain, what did you say? There was an old set. That's what the copy pasta is. There was a set with Mars against Larry uh, at a Thunder event. And Larry beat Mars, and it was this big upset because Mars is like top five. And Larry beats Mars. And I was saying on commentary, like... Larry's obviously playing phenomenally, but Mars is playing bad. Like, this is clearly not... He's not playing well. Larry's doing good because he's he's uh, he's optimizing, and he is capitalizing on all of Mars's mistakes, but this is bad play. And people are like, oh, it's because he's on Panda. Cody's trying to downplay the loss, blah, 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 all this bullshit. It's annoying as hell, dude. Larry didn't even say anything. I, I don't even know how Larry felt about it. I was making no shots at Larry. Larry's great. It's just, it's weird when people, like, try to stand up for the players. Like, Larry has been in the game longer than I have. I think he knows. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is calling Mars bad downplaying it? Exactly. Like, I'm saying that he's he's being shitty. He's not being good. But the idea is the no Johns thing, right? You should assume that every player is playing their best at all times. And if they're not, you're making an excuse. Because then you're saying that Mars would definitely beat him if he was playing at his best. That kind of shit. I know what Coney is talking about right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I didn't mean to get stun locked. I just I I hate Smash fans. You got time. There's still much time remaining. Trier three clutch free throws in a row. Yeah, but they're gonna use their 24. Oh, this the ball is locked. Oh no. Home. And it's a one point game. What's going That's insane. Going home. Use their 24. Bro, it's one point.
Bro, what was this guy doing? What was that guy doing? Why is he mad? Oh, no. That's a miscommunication. He's furious. Pick up the ball, dude. Why? It's hard to imagine what Tucker was thinking. One thing though, he got mixed up. He just got mixed up. Wait, what happened there? I didn't see it. Oh, what the fuck? He's wide open. What? Share at the top of your screen over here. <laughs> no way he was fraternizing with the enemy. Bro was behind enemy line, just dapping him up. Oh, what's good, man? How you doing? Cleveland actually dapping up Milwaukee in a close game. That's my guy. What's good? <laughs> the distraction play. Yeah, actually, he was in on it. Bro, Milwaukee was definitely in on it. Oh, man. Get him to come over here. <laughs> Charisma check. He charmed him. Jason <laughs> Terry. Oh, man. Well, I think we now have a nominee for Shaq and a Fool. Oh, no oh, he was checked no in a fool. I need checked in a fool, but for Smash. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Coney and your fool. <laughs> dude, the Mars, the Mars SD. People would get so fucking mad. That's why it's great. Oh, my God. I need to do it. Zacked in a fool. <laughs> Wait a minute. Holy shit, dude. I'm surprised you haven't done it yet. Oh my god, I need that. <gasps> Nobody leaked this. Nobody leaked this. I'm going to tweet out asking for the biggest Genesis mistakes that happened on stream. All the SDs. Bully Cosmos, dude, if those matches... Apparently, Cosmos sd three times against Icon In a row. Cosmos wins that? Yeah. I, what I will do... What I will do is... I, oh, God, this is tough, though. Because in Smash, like, these guys aren't making NBA player money. So it's not like they could, like, be made fun of and it's okay. Uh, What I'll probably do is reach out to some people and be like, Hey, I'm going to make fun of you on this. Is that cool? And they'll probably be okay with it. Where can I do it, though? Like, what? Would it just be a tweet? I don't think it's its own video. So much politicking to make jokes these days. I, I mean, it's Smash, right? It's young people. It's weird that a 30-something-year-old guy is, like, making fun of an 18-year-old that flew across the country and used thousands of dollars to barely not make top eight. And I'm laughing at him. <laughs> I get it. I understand why people would be upset. You know what I'm saying? That's what Shaq does. Yeah, but no, these kids are making millions of dollars. That's the difference. Like, if a Smash player flies all the way out to Genesis, makes one mistake in SDs, and then some asshole is laughing at him, you know? It's not the same. Do it to Melee players. That would be funny, actually. I like that one better. <laughs> kind of want to do that true but it's also video games yeah I mean and at the end of the day it sort of gets them that exposure because the best thing you can do if I make fun of you is to eat it and be funny about it right like that could that could help you if you take the L in a funny way hmm this would be fun this is a good idea Light did say he wanted to learn from his mistakes. That's true. Light, Light tweeted out, he was like, I want to learn from my mistakes, but how do you guys watch matches where you lose? And if I was just like, bro, 
I got you. I'll help you out. <laughs> I'll point exactly to what you did wrong. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. Good. I like this idea. I got to make a tweet for, like, the biggest SDs or shitty plays or whatever from uh, from Genesis. It has to be tied to large tournaments. We're losing in the championship to the mm. Lakers in seven, a missed slam. All right, I missed it. Back to the fool. Who is our JaVale McGee? Probably Cosmos. Dude SDs a lot. Oh, no question. No question about it. Orlando. All right, what happened? Back oh, yeah, he, he put it in. Oh, no question. No question about it. Orlando 4-2 to two before losing in the championship to the oh, Lakers no. in seven, a missed <laughs> slam. And O'Neal called for double dribble. Well, he, he That's ran tough. into his own teammate, or actually, I should say, Von Wafer ran oh, into him. Oh, he's in pain. So that back poor back guy. His teammate here. Goosh. Now he comes back in. Watch him and run right into Boom. Jermaine. Yeah. There's the traveling. He gave him the Kendrick ball again. For a cutter. There you go, champ. Try again. Over the top. Millsap. Oh, it comes off. No way. Off. Look at the score. No way. The top Millsap. Oh, it comes off. Oh, God. Here comes Chris Paul. The lob. Let's get him. Oh, Ooh. monster jam by the Andre Jordan. Oh, monster jam. Here comes Chris Paul. <laughs> oh god look at that score that's tough that's fucked up everybody's just looking to this is like a renaissance painting i definitely thought he was holding him on his shoulders oh the cam covered the score all right i'll show you in a second you can't see the score yes you can right now it's 36.55 you see this? This looks like a renaissance painting. These guys are looking down at this this poor fellow. This guy's doing the airplane over here. He just got the red cap. Collecting some red coins. <laughs> this dude's hitting the Colossus. This is crazy. Yeah, how? why does this look like he's on his shoulders? What kind of optical illusion is happening here? Oh, it's because of his head. This guy's head is obscuring it. Okay. So the last, this clip, look at the score. Man. Top Millsap! Oh! Could have won the game. Yep. That's tough. At least it went to overtime. That's not what you're thinking. Didn't have to go to overtime. If he just made the shot. Oh! I don't know what the blooper here off. is. No, I know what it is here, obviously. I don't know how basketball works or... <laughs> Suspicious user. Monitor banavator. Possible. What the fuck are you doing? TikToker trolling on all sorts of games. <laughs> Steph Shub's biggest fan. Linking Steph Shub. That's funny. What if that guy what if that person is big in a few years? That's funny. That's actually really funny. What if he's huge in like three years? Evolving the game. That's funny. I like that. I love it when people do that. I really do. I can't say that publicly because then everybody's going to be annoying and, and self-promoting. But I fucking think it's so funny when people do that shit. What is this? <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. Now I'm curious. What's Michael saying? Michael, what are you up to? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Translating it off that monitor. It says, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. 
I don't think that's accurate. Uh, oh, it's Chinese? Okay, my bad. It auto-did that one. Translate for... Tra okay, if what you say is stupid, shut up. Got it. Okay. Got it. Bro, don't ban Michael. Let Michael back. Why do we ban Michael? Come on. Wise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was spitting on that one. Did you think it was Japanese? I put it in. I think it's because the last thing I did was Japanese. So I just put it in like this, and it just showed up. I think I was stuck there. Here comes Chris Paul. That's so tough. Okay, yeah, so I don't know what... What happened here? Why is it bad for a big bully guy to jump on you like this? Huh? That's his fault, right? He killed him. It hurts. <laughs> Ball bounced off his head. Wait, did it? He had no business challenging. Oh, he tried to block it. Oh, no. Okay. It's not even a blooper. It's a guy getting destroyed. It's crazy that that can... Two seconds, one second. Oh, no! That sucks. Bro tried to punch it. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, that's the same guy. Oh, no. That's the guy that got dunked on. Oh, JaVale McGee, too. On a missed layup Tough. By Brandon Knight. Okay. Three seconds. Oh, that's the one we saw. <laughs> Oh man. If it's gonna be Dallas, we gotta check it out. If it's gone, we're going to overtime. Oh baby, pop it raid. What the hell? Pop it raid. Thank you. What the hell? Wait, what time is it over there? Oh, I guess it's like twelve for you, right? You're over in Perth. <laughs> Are you guys Australian? Poppet love basketball. I love Poppet. Are you guys Australian over there? It's 11 a.m. That's what it is. Okay, so we're 12 hours. Perfect. I'm always curious to people that watch like the Austra like you and Hopcat and, you know, the other streamers. I always wonder if they're Australian or if they're, you know, U.S. people. As for primes, quick. Hey, guys, if you got them, I am so close to the sub goal. I know, listen, I know a lot of you probably drop subs to Poppet, and he does deserve them. We love Poppet. But... We only need one more to hit the goal. 2602 to 12603. We could do it. So, if you got a prime, you know, it's free. So, and I'm not begging. I'm simply asking. <laughs> Remember. Why do we time out Michael again? <laughs> I was talking about my sister. She says nothing smart and just says things this many times. Why? E. Compton is bloodthirsty. Let Michael go. Stop being a dummy. Come on! Michael's just venting about his sister. Michael is a menace. Come on. <laughs> this is like playing that, that mod game that we played yesterday. Was that a prime number? That must have been a prime number. I get why you banned him. I get it. Are you guys Team Compton or Team Michael? Oh, we need Ben to decide this? Hold up. Let me give him a call. One sec. I got just the guy. <laughs> One second. I gotta I gotta I gotta give him a call. We're gonna see what we do with Michael. We're gonna leave it up to my boy Ben. He always knows what to do. One second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me call up my boy. All right. Ben. ben, should Michael stay banned? 
He was very funny in the chat. He even typed in Chinese letters. But do you think he should be banned? No. I agree. Thanks. There you have it. Straight from Ben's mouth. He said it, bro. <laughs> he comped and removed timeout. Welcome back, Michael. Ben has 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 said that you are worthy to return to the land of the living. What did it end with? I was pushing for overflow. It, Michael, are you a bot? Michael, say the phrase chicken wing. No, okay. <laughs> I didn't know what you meant by overflow. This might be a... Uh, scientific calculation takes longer for overflow. <laughs> Means you can't fit it on the calculator. Michael, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, Michael. A scientific calculator. I, I know that. <laughs> Michael, you're great. Numbers be like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gugasha. I don't know if this is real. Who is this? <laughs> Michael, thank you so much for stopping by today. That is 10 times. I'm a big fan of Michael. Michael is a resident pet. We love Michael is the stream mascot. Michael, hey, listen, thanks for stopping by tonight. Did you come for Poppet's stream? Are you, uh, are you... I don't know what he's... That is one with 52 zero. I'm not gonna mob Michael. I don't know what he'll do. Question mark. Hi, thank you, Michael. Michael, thanks, thanks for stopping by the stream. One with zero zeros isn't ten. True. Accurate. All right. We're going to keep watching the movie now. <laughs> Can I shoot Michael? You better not. Do not. Is he using voice to text? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell what's going on with Michael. Michael is under Coney's protection. Yeah, he's a made man. It is 10 to the 50 second power. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're going to keep going. <laughs> Michael butt dialed the street. <laughs> Michael is definitely a math, math class right now and hitting text to speech. He's doing a group project. He butt dialed into the stream. <laughs> Hasn't noticed yet. What? Oh, he did the wrong basket. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's 107-107 in the fourth. Rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out. Throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. You get the feeling J.R. Smith thought they had the lead. LeBron. You don't know the score. <laughs> I think exactly. That's a bad mistake by J.R. Smith. Oh, no. LeBron James was trying this made him to go to Looney Tunes. That's the worst blooper of all time. Damn. Crossovers, but they get more disrespectful. This channel rules. I can watch this shit forever. Hides licking his chops. It's just, oh. He fell down. It might actually be a mobile moment. Oh, really? Wait. <laughs> He's a chicken. Michael, where where are you? I feel like Michael's in the upside down. 
I don't know what's going on there. It's like a cry for help. Oh. <laughs> this is killing me. Where did Michael go? Michael, I, listen, I'm a huge fan. If you ever want to come on the stream, I'd love to collab. Love to collab anytime, bro. That is at least Oku. So true. So true. O Oku Sin, man. Yeah. So wise. So wise. <laughs> I love Michael. <laughs> No one harm my <laughs> Michael just hit the Drake. <laughs> what the <laughs> Why did Michael hit the <laughs> for what? <laughs> I love Michael. Holy shit. This AI in his next level. Oh my god. I love him, dude. All right. Thank you, Soy Lodge, for the prime. Thank you, Xenon Blues, for the gift. Thank you guys so much. Oh, 10 with 1 is 1-0, one oh, so it's 10 to the first pat. That's true. Should have said that. No, I got what you meant. I got what you meant. Thank you. No, I get it. He's doing Steiner math. All right. Who hit the cross-up? Oh, that's tough. He fell down. Is basketball the only sport where you could directly fuck with your opponent like this? I feel like it is. Hockey? Ah, soccer. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm an American sport. Hockey makes sense. Baseball? Kind of, but that's, that's more of a relationship between the pitcher and the hitter, right? What I'm thinking is like, I wonder if you're in basketball and you're just better than the other guy, you could probably fuck with his salary, right? If you do this to a guy and make him look incompetent, obviously everybody fucks up once, right? But, like, you could you could hurt somebody in their wallet. You could truck someone in football. True, yeah. That's like a power move, you know? I don't know. That's crazy. Oh, with a cold three. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Oh, oh no. He hit the oh man. <laughs> he is in his shirt. And Allen's trying to bust a move on. Wow. He I'm not talking I'm guys, I'm not talking with Michael anymore. I don't, Michael, Mike, uh, Michael, I can't understand him. We can't, we can't, Michael cannot take over the stream. He was looking for a cartoon. <laughs> we can't, we can't keep talking about Michael. Michael has overtaken the entire stream. I don't know what he's talking. Don't ban him! No! What the fuck? He copped it! No! What are you doing? What are you doing? Bring him back! Bring him back! Why? Why did he do that? Here we go! A friend did girls water polo in high school, and the refs can't catch him underwater, so they Ooh. would use nail punches to make their fingernails draw blood. Ooh! Girls are mean. Yeah, water polo makes sense. You need an underwater camera or something. Put a GoPro down there. Come on. Let Michael go. Michael's back. Michael's unbanned. Michael, hope you're doing okay, man. Say something about numbers in chat so we know that you're good. He is in his shirt. And Allen's trying to bust a move on. Wow, he right, breaks his ankle. In his shirt. And Allen's trying to bust a move on. Ooh. Wow, he breaks his ankles and trails it. And oh, that's tough. It. 
It was their guy. Has anybody's ankles Who ever actually been break broken? This is game one. I was about Western to say break. <laughs> has that ever happened? It has to have happened, right? At least once. Oh, no. Where is Steph Curry going? He's so tricky, bro. Starts his move, lost the handle, pops it up right to Jason Williams. Williams crosses over, loses Gary, drives into the lane, arcs the high one off the window, up and in. Oh. What a move by Jason Well, Williams. that guy didn't even really try. Super crossover. I mean, that dude he, didn't he even a give a shit. Gary Payton, and then just the crossover was just deadly. What I'm seeing right here is a guy that's not afraid to play against anybody. And he makes eye contact with Gary Payton, and Payton is Don't worry, Michael will come back. I believe in him. Russell, what a move to shoot. And Peyton is Wait. smiling. Calendar seven. Oh. Russell, what a move to shit. The Kevin Ware, but that wasn't really ankle. Uh, horrific injury. Don't look it up. And I'm going to tell you not to look up Psycho Sid. Knee injury. Don't do it. I told you to do it, so I know you're going to think about it. But don't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> what was Psycho Sid thinking? It was so... What was he thinking? He tried a big boot from the second rope. Why did he try to do that? Unbelievable. He, scores. he doesn't think. That's true, because he is half the brain that I do. My goodness. He's the half the man that I am. Ankles. Why do I fucking... Why do I... I love, I love pro wrestling so much. I really do. It's so stupid. I'm twice the man that he is. That's what it is. And he is half the brain that I do. That's what it is. Why did I watch that? I told you not to. I told you not to. Oh, that wasn't that bad. I saw the Kevin Ware injury live. One of the most horrendous things I've ever seen. Dude, I watched two UFCs back to back. And in both of them, uh, their shin bones got fucking annihilated. One was the Conor McGregor fight, and the one before it, I forget who the fighter was. But it was two in a row. Silva. That was it. It was Silva and McGregor. I watched both of those happen. Weedman? That wasn't around the same time, though, was it? I don't think it was around the same time. Oh, Silva was a while back. Okay, so it was Weedman. Silva was a long time. No, because Silva fought... It was like they did it to each other, I think. Something like that. Weedman and McGregor was around the same time. Whatever. I watched two UFC events in close proximity, and they both did it. And I was like, oh my god. It's gross. It's fucked up, dude. Weedman fucked up Silva's shin. That's what it was, I think. On the handle, and then the hot hand. God. Buzzing after that little foray. The move with him right now to try and get... They probably could use like a Why this dude got a his own jersey? Oh, it's BBVA Rising Stars. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It is nothing that you would rather do in a all star game but to cross someone over, make them fall and hit a jump shot. Derek one on one at the top. Starts probes. Brand dumb night again. <laughs> That block. Stop. No. What? <laughs> oh, the bench. I thought he just went off the cuff on that one. I don't know why. He, I, I think that he said bench. Thought he said, and the bitch is loving it. What? Is that a phrase in basketball? Chris Paul takes it out. Yeah. Who's the bitch? Is that a position? Oh. No, no, Bro, he scared him. He jump scared him. He stepped on his foot. Wait, what? On step on his foot. Let me see it again. Chris Paul takes it out. Oh, yeah, that's cringe. Come on. Come on. That's fucked up. Now he looks stupid when he was just trying to get his balance back. Oh, no. That's no, cringe, no, bro. No, no, no. 
and everybody's going crazy. Like, yo, it, that's dumb. That's messed up. This poor guy. That poor guy, bro. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what? Le Mickey. <laughs> this man right here. All right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, no, you're going to find an answer for this man right here. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, no, you're Damn, he had so long to shoot. Oh, man. No, he didn't. He just shook his shoulders. Little shuffle. What? Doing a little bank out bounce right there. Are you kidding me? Crawford at distance. Oh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. That's pretty good. But this is some move. This is one of those ankle breaking moves by Crawford. Everybody's ankles are at high risk in this game. Basketball is scary. It's one of those ankle breaking moves. As the youth call it. Check if he's hurt. He's hurt. <laughs> not showing it. his feelings are hurt. Yeah. <laughs> not Michael. Oh, Michael's tuning in. Not in front of Michael, dude. Uh -oh. <laughs> and he didn't even make it. <laughs> Michael owns the Hornets. I thought they didn't have Hornets. They have Pelicans. What are you talking about? Wait, 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 wait. What? What the fuck? Both exist? He means literal Hornets. Oh, okay. Michael owns, like, bugs. <laughs> New Orleans or Pelicans? They're the Charlotte Hornets. That's what I said! They're Charlotte Hornets! Hornets moved from New Orleans to Charlotte. They've been in Charlotte forever! They were an NBA jam as the Charlotte Hornets. It was Bobcats. You're so dumb. You are so dumb. Where are the teams? You're so dumb for that. You're so dumb. Video game history wiki? Eastern Con Charlotte Hornets. This is in 1993. This isn't the same franchise. There are Charlotte Hornets then and Charlotte Hornets now. You said that they weren't there anymore. What do you mean it's a different team? If they're called the Hornets in Charlotte, it's the same fucking team. What are you talking about? They were Bobcats in between. I don't care about the franchise. I care about what team it represents what city. You guys are so dumb. Team fouls to give, both in the penalty. <laughs> this is so Under dumb. Two to play. Harden step back. Puts up the three, got hit. Why is Tony so worked up about some animals? James Harden. This is how all the streams go. Oh. He just looked at the crowd and said, wow. He pointed he at him. He's in awe of himself at this point. Don't reach, because he's going to preach. Ooh. And touch pass. Yup. Oh. Oh. Had to hit the sit. That sit is so shameful. Oh, I like that. I like the, uh, whoa. <laughs> Good physical comedy. I'm a fan of that. That was some bootleg Armani. Ooh. <laughs> Don't rub it in like that, Laura. What is this zoom? He. He's really trying to break him on this. Oh no. Okay. He gave him a long time too. What is he looking at? 
See, it's the Bobcats. You think I can see anything on this shit? You think I can read any? I can read Office Max. That's the I can see the number four. That's the most I can read. Iverson draws Jordan. And 42 down here. Watch this. Michael trying to stay oh. with him here. Very quick move. He goes to left Is that Jordan? Right oh, no. Not in front of Jordan. Michael won't like that. <laughs> Don't go for it. This is such a bait. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. Do not go for it. You know what he wants. Eastern Conference is just throw the cards up in the air. Oh my god. That was intense. Allen Iverson. Oh, he makes he makes Antonio Daniels drove him to the hardwood. Look how fast he is. Jesus. That's pretty good. Iverson was ridiculous. I feel like I don't see, I don't hear him brought up really at all anymore. But he was like the hottest thing back in like the early 2000s. Is he still brought up a lot? I guess right now, like from the outside, it, like I don't follow basketball and it's like, People just talk about LeBron, specifically LeBron's relationship to Jordan, you know. He fell down after? He is, he's just not in the GOAT conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh no, everybody stopped. Everybody stopped the game. Oh, that's so tough. Everybody in the arena is looking at you. All the refs, all the players on both teams. That's so sad. Harden does that all the time. I would, I would call in sick against Harden a lot. <laughs> Don't think I can make the game, coach. <laughs> Sorry. Every time we have to play his team. <coughs> Don't think I can make it. Man. Not me. He wouldn't catch that. He's fat now, so he can't. Oh, good. I will cross him up then. Tubby. <laughs> See how you handle one of these. I can't hit the basketball through my legs consistently. It's kind of hard. Coney, you trip running in a straight line. I got knock knees. That's my problem. Coney with normal knees never gets fucked around on. Never, ever. If my knees were good, I'd be fine. <laughs> All right. You guys want some junk, a uh, little bit of junk food? <laughs> Junk food content. Just a little bit. What the fuck is this? Oh, diffuse explosive. I thought that was a throat. I hate watch data. Comparison. How weird are you? Attracted to cartoon? Eat pet? <laughs> how weird am I? How weird am I? Let's find out. Peel glue off your hands. A lot of people do that. Objects and clouds. Wait, more people peel glue off their hands than look for objects and clouds? Make eye contact on public transport. You ever consistently make eye contact with someone and you feel weird about it? I hate that. Like, I'll make eye contact with them like three or four times. I'm like, I don't have any interest in talking to you. It's just like a guy, you know what I mean? But it feels weird. But they're doing it too, right? So, like, they're doing the same thing and I'm sure they feel the same way. Weird. Sniff your armpit. That everybody does that. That's a monkey thing. That's normal. Scroll through your own social profile. Memorize your lines in the queue. That's a social anxiety thing, right? No. 
need people to order for you. Google slang phrases. I did that today. I looked up what soaking is. Do you guys know what soaking is? It's a Mormon practice. <laughs> I was curious. Do tell? No. I'll let you be one in 3.5 and do this for yourself. They love that in Utah, which is a great transition to tell you guys I will be at Crown in Utah, which is a smash major in late June. Can't wait. Pull silly faces in the mirror. Okay. Put pineapple on pizza. Omega lol. Clothes chair. Pretend to be in a music video. Win fake arguments. In the I feel like this is the same one as the other one. Say you too and wished happy birthday. <laughs> oh, that's tough. That's not good. Oh, man. What do you guys do when people sing happy birthday? I always just sit there. I don't know what to do. Because everybody's singing. And I'm just like... It lasts a long time, too. You know what I realized was really weird today? Haunted houses. Like... I was watching PAX, and somebody had a shirt on for Hush, which is a haunted attraction in Detroit. And, like, basically what they are is it's a haunted house, and you walk through it, and guys come out, and they scare you. They're like, ah! But then they go away. Like, it, it's so weird to me that you're walking down a hallway, and somebody pops out of the hallway and goes, ah! And then you scream, and then they just walk away. <laughs> Nothing happens. I, I don't know what they're supposed to do. You're obviously not supposed to hurt them. But, like, it's just, okay, the scare's over, right? You want them to get hurt? I don't know what it is. It's just a guy showing up out of a door going, ah, and then leaving. I don't know. I, uh, I, 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 have, a fasc I, I have a fascination with the really extreme haunted houses. The ones that, like, shave your head and make you eat terrible stuff. That stuff's interesting to me. Like, <clears throat> the limits that people will go to to feel something. It's crazy. Those ones are fucked? Yeah, they're insane. And they only go up more and more. Real? Yeah, those are... I don't know if they're real. You know, you read about them, and they could just be stunts or, like, you know, whatever. But I think that they exist. You sign waivers and stuff. There's some that's like you sign a waiver and they kidnap you. Like you give them your daily routine and they will come kidnap you. And you know it's happening, but, you know. I'm not a psychopath. I would never do it and I would. I have no interest in it. But it's, it's interesting to me the idea that people sign up for this shit. There's a video that goes into depth on a lot of them. I would love to watch that. I'm mad curious. Open a chat bag of chips from the bottom. I don't know why you would do that. Don't eat until you find the video. Have over unread. Dude, you guys want to see my Discord? Well, actually, no. I don't need to show you, but I have hundreds of messages. I don't respond. You get it. I'm not responding to that. That's gross. Run up the stairs on all fours. I did that once the other day. Just to remember what it was like. Name your favorite things. Oh, name them like... Like, like, like... If my laptop was named, like, Christine. I thought it was like... My five favorite things are... You know? Buy more for free shipping is literally just marketing. What the fuck? Go for a walk in the rain. Over 20 music playlists. Be attracted to a cartoon. <laughs> Huh? Hands up, chat. Hands up. How many of you guys? Who's out there? There's no way it's that few. I think it depends how attractive we're talking, right? You can see a cartoon character and be like, oh, she's pretty. I bet if she was in real life, she'd be pretty. But to take it to the next level, 1 in 20 admit it. That's definitely it. Yeah. <laughs> Wear socks and sandals. Wear a fedora. I think it's just making this up. Use ketchup as pasta sauce. 
listen to strangers conversations we're damn we're actually over halfway done this one isn't that weird laugh during scary move <laughs> that's just the joker eat earwax that's disgusting blink your eyes in time with music make animal sounds Always sleep with the fan on. No, that's way more common. Rub hand sanitizer on a wound. Why would you do that? That's masochistic. This is stupid. This video's dumb. None of this is true. Accidentally hold a stranger's hand? Alright, I have... I have pat a woman on the back before thinking she was Mallory. That did happen to me once, actually. Yeah. I, like, I like put my hand on her back and, like... Oh, God, this is so... This is so uncomfortable. I put my hand on her back and I, like, slid it down to the small of her back. You know, like a lover does. Not, like, her butt, but, like, you know, her back. And then I realized, I was like, oh, fuck! <laughs> it was really bad. I felt so bad. She was okay. With, she was like, oh, it's okay. I, I, I felt so bad. She must have freaked out. Well, I think she was there with her husband, too. So she thought I was him. Thought we were some swingers. I don't, I don't know what happened. But don't worry. I grabbed a random woman's arm thinking it was my mom. I think everybody's done that as a kid. Swap? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I felt really bad. Oh. Put my hand down her back and everything, and then I realized, it's like, oh, fuck. She was cool about it, though. It was in a grocery store. I definitely have had my ass slapped before by women thinking that I was their boyfriend. That happened to me, like, two or three times. Talk to your plants. Put your hand in the air for no reason. It's got to be more than that, right? Sell your sperm? You could do that? Yeah, I don't think you make a lot. I think it depends on your tea count, brother. How much are you shooting? You know, what's your caliber? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do that. Buy used underwear, eat your pet. What the fuck? I don't know anyone that does that. Not a single person. Eat your hair. That's just mental illness. Thank you for watching today's video. That's not funny. Yeah, people do that. That's just... It's a thing people have. Most extreme world record? Most rattlesnakes in mouth? How many X could you survive? Seconds in space? How to be hated? What if lying was illegal? <laughs> Underground lying clubs? This is actually just junk food. This is the worst content on the internet. If all adults went extinct... Criminal kids. Kid prank. I don't want to read that. That's. What if everyone you touched died? What's the hardest word to pronounce? Hold on. Flux and also nihilipilification. Shalon fire push guino go garrick. We're in drove bull shalon to see go get go. Thank you for watching today's video. Oh, that's a city. I remember that. Onomatopoeia sesquipedalian. I want to guess all these now. Six. Six. Foe. Foe. Rural. Rural. Penguin. Penguin. Cash. Cash. Forte. Forte. The way to say it shows there? <laughs> how do I... How do I block that out? <laughs> I can't I can't block it out because I can't not look. I won't look. I won't I won't I'm not gonna look Colonel. at it. Colonel. 
Yes. Move webcam? I can still see it on my screen. <laughs> All right. I don't know this. Ismus? Ismus. Ismus. Or not. Ismus. Ismus. Okay. Squirrel. Squirrel. February. February. Antarctica. Antarctic. Oh, or Antarctic. I got it right. Often. Often. Choir. Choir. Debauch. Debauch. Like debauchery. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Asterisk. Asterisk. Brewery. Brewery. Explicit. Explicit. Library. Library. Learning a lot. Mischievous. Mischievous. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Close. Specific. Specific. Alias. Alias. Protean. Protean. Espresso. Espresso. Deteriorate. Deteriorate. Anemone. Anemone. Okay. Anathema. Anathema. That's a Smash player. And everybody gets that shit wrong. It's a fucking word. I can't believe so many people got that wrong. Open a fucking book. He changed his name because of it. Yeah, now he's Steven. Insane. Anathema? So stupid. It's anathema. Uh, hyperbole. Hyperbole. I'm halfway done. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. This is easy. What the fuck? Defibrillator. Defibrillator. Exponentially. Exponentially. Leicester. Leicester. Fuck! Leicester. I could have been right. No, that's not... That's dumb. Because it could have been either. Like Worcester. Worcester. Oh, wait. No, that's Worcester. Uh, whatever. That one's dumb, though. It could have been either. It could have been... A, it's a UK word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UK word. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. It's British. Epitome. Epitome. Quinoa. I only just learned quinoa. Uh, hegemony. Hegemony. Worcester. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Oh, I thought it was just Worcester. I didn't see the shirt. Worcestershire. Shot in Freud. Yeah. Uh, synecdoche. Synecdoche. Close. Apocryphal. Apocryphal. Ugh! Uh, camaraderie. Camaraderie. Ignominious. Ignominious. Mm! Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Uh, sesquipedal... Sesquipedalian. Sesquipedalian. Pedalian. Okay, close enough. Hold on, I gotta read that word. Odor hanolaryngologist. Laryngolo laryng laryngologist. That's a guh. Laryngologist. Odor Odor Hena Oh my god. Odor Hena Odor Hena Laryngologist. Ear, nose, and throat doctor, apparently. Odor Hina Laryngologist. Odor Hina Laryngologist. Hina. Fuck. All right, that one was hard. Anti disestablishmentarianism. This is this one's dumb because this is just the one all the kids Anti disestablishmentarianism. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Yeah, this video sucks. Flux and annihilation. I don't know that word. I wouldn't. I didn't. I thought the video was over because I thought it was. Floxinos. I don't. I wouldn't know that one. Okay. Whatever, I got most of them right. This one's supposed to be easy. Like, this one's just height. Like, it's phonetic. These videos are really aimed at a tight demographic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more. What if lying was legal? <laughs> the Honest President. A religious billionaire comes to power on a platform of combating mistruths. Lying is criminalized. Okay, no more lying. The nation must be told. Police on every street corner stopping lies. $100 fines. 
paranoia sets in. Oh god, TV would have to tell the truth all the time. Wait, does that mean that only nonfiction shows? Fiction isn't lying, right? Just based on a true story, shit would be gone. My dog didn't eat my homework. Omega lol. Society's rats. More people start to rat out liars. Love affairs are now rare. Relationships become stronger. Wow. Imagine a world. Honest political debates. The truth party. One state religion. Wait, how would you have political debates if you only tell... Well, no, you get a differences in opinion. Yeah, wait, what's the... What? How do you decide what's objective truth? What? No cheating in exams. That not that already... <laughs> You're not supposed to cheat now. Phone watchdog... Arrested for calling someone pretty. High profile ca case of a man being arrested for calling his wife pretty. Underground lying clubs. How would you... Lying in secret? What would that even look like? Book burning. Netflix is banned. Anything fictional is a lie. Okay. Got it. Uh-huh. Children ask too many questions. The parents' homes are raided by riot police and they are slaughtered on scene. Surviving rebels escape the country. It has been lost to tyranny. Remaining criminals are herded into an enclosed housing estate. Everything around you is propaganda. No lies, though. All truths and warnings. If you aren't a Truth Party member, you are a liar. You have to join. The president is re-elected with a 99.8% vote share. Makeshift facilities have to be constructed to house millions of liars. A solution to prison crowding. Ten chances to not lie, one per finger. Employers have no trust. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the? These videos are fucking insane. Lie detector implants. People disappearing at random. Rebels' tongues are removed to prevent lies. Serial liars can't be kept alive. Don't look suggestively. Permanent CCTV. Half the population is arrested after eight years. On Sundays, people must pledge their faith to truth. The president dies after 8.5 years. A funeral is held in secret. A new face is on TV. It's the same person. Anyone who questions why the president looks different is arrested for lying. What? Accept it or die. The truth is what we say it is. Don't you agree? What is a lie? Nobody knows anything. Two plus two equals five. The only truth. Wait, this is the book. <laughs> this is literally just 1984. They, okay. That's, that's, it, it, it actually is late 1984. <laughs> Why is everybody saying George Orwell? I know what it's supposed to be, but I don't know where George Orwell came from. <laughs> where did that meme even come from? <laughs> George Orwell. <laughs> That's funny. It's so stupid, though. That's funny. Okay. I think I've had enough junk food. So it's time to binge some excellent, excellent content. And you know it as well as I do. You know what time it is. The best content we do. Because it's time for the final time to engage. That's right. It's Star Trek Fleet Command again on the Coney stream. Check it out, everybody. We're going to be playing. Oh, hello. How would you rate Star Trek Fleet Command? It's five stars every time. You're doing a great job, young lady. Thank you for everything that you do. We're going to be playing for about 25 minutes tonight. Tonight's the last time. The last time we're going to be playing this, unfortunately. So we're going to be playing for roughly 25 minutes to finish up the time. I know, I know. 
I'm sorry. But we had a deal. It is the final frontier. Thank you, Durferner, by the way, for the prime. The final engagement. So now's the time, if you haven't done already, get that QR code. Because remember, this game is absolutely free on iOS and Android. It's true. So we're going to be playing for a little bit. Just a little bit. What's the time? It's... Okay. Got it. Last chance to be an officer. Better take it while you can. Yeah. So, uh... If you are going to go, just know that I'm going to stream Pound on Sunday. So be back for that. Because I understand. It is late. It's getting rather yeah. late. Not gonna lie, I am gonna miss Star Trek just a bit. It's a nice, chill way to end the stream. God, it's crazy how much that really does sound like Watch Mojo. It's insane. It really works. I mean, we used to have a pet. Remember that? We would have a we would have a pet for the stream. We used to have a uh, fish. But they kept dying. And it was like a nice little, you know, 10 to 15 minute, like, cooldown for the stream. It was nice. You mean Michael. <laughs> I mean Beetlejuice. But yeah, Michael too. Poor Michael. Seaman died every event. I played Seaman so many times and they always died. Through no fault of my own. The Rock was in a Star Trek episode. He did the analyze on screen. Wait, is that true? No. <laughs> yes? Hold on. The Rock Star Trek. Hold on. <laughs> and there he is. He actually did hit it. Oh, he's a wrestler on it. That's fun. That's pretty good. How do I unlock him? It's got to be a way to get him, right? Bro, I'm so much stronger than him. Fight it. Been waiting to drop that nugget all, my, all night. Come on. It's got to be a way to unlock that guy. It's got to be a secret. Well, you know what? If all of us download the game and get started looking for him, maybe we'll find him. It takes a team effort. What if you clicked on something and the rocks music hits? Oh my god. I, I would give it more than five stars. I just randomly click one of the ships. I enter into a hidden boss and he just beats my ass. That's funny. Am I winning? No, I died. Alright, I'm setting this ship. Oh wait, no, I have to upgrade. But I can't upgrade yet because I don't have enough cards. Crazy. Uh oh my god, I own no repair ships. Ship repairs? Oh never mind, I do. Okay. Good. Everyone on that ship died. Uh-uh. Nope, they're all okay. Everybody's fine. You are bad at this game. I'm not doing anything wrong. Let's upgrade operations to level 7. That's what I need to do. Gives me a weapon da damage bonus. I'm going to pop this. And then I have an hour long speed up. Watch this. Wait, I don't. I have one. I'll just spend the money. For the three hour long. Go. Engage. Good. See? Now I'm level 7 in operations. Which means a lot. Mission complete. See? I got everything back. Upgrade Tritanium Generator A to level 4. Just like on the show. Warehouse is full. Okay. Well, we're gonna get the... We're gonna get that. Got it. Good. I'm clicking wherever it tells me to click. And we're doing a great job of it. Click the top right thing that says winner. Oh my god, I won! Milestone is... Oh, shit! I won! 
I didn't even notice. Thank you, Chet. Thank you guys so much for letting me know. That's amazing. I thought I was doing pretty good. So to be recognized like that is a big deal. I really want to play Wrestling Empire soon. I don't know if I'll do it next week, maybe. Next week, I think I got to get started back on making YouTube content. Because I think we're going to run out. Because we're good until the end of April, so. But Wrestling Empire looks so funny. What's your character going to be? I have no idea. I might just make Steve Harvey again. <laughs> I don't know. I just love Steve Harvey. Claim in sub. Ah, unfortunately, you got here four hours after the stream started. So I don't think there are any subs left. I'm sorry to tell you. You are four hours late. But you could try to redeem. You could try to redeem. You could try that. Is Steve's finisher called the Moral Barometer? <laughs> Again, I think it's when his opponent says penis and he becomes so enraged and outraged that he just goes totally off the handle. He hates it when they do that on a family show. Four? Kill the four. Good. Thank you, Spike Daddy. 5,000 for the prime. Damn, dude. We got a lot. Wait. Hey. <laughs> Bless me. Oh, thank you, Robo Rev, for the host. We got a lot of subs tonight. It was very nice. Thank you guys for being so generous. I appreciate it. Do you have a new appreciation for Steve Harvey after what Cameron said on your show? You know what? I get it. I was Steve Harvey in that moment. When he dropped the I have no nuts, I, you actually can't say that. Because I am I'm literally filming. It's crazy. There's mad people streaming this game. True? A thriving community. We love Star Trek Fleet Command. Big fan. Even if you don't like the Star Trek series, you're going to like this one. God, I can't believe I played more League today. I feel so gross. Ugh. I feel... I don't know. I feel the same way I do after I eat McDonald's. You know? Like, I, I shouldn't have done that. Everyone relapses sometimes. Yeah, but I, it's when I'm at my weakest. <laughs> I knew I would do it when I got back from a tournament. Because nothing quite hits like passing the time, you know? Just some league games, but that was... I got back on Monday, and I played on Tuesday, and now it's Thursday. It's too much, you know? Could have been playing more Fleet Command. I could have been playing uh, Valorant, right? Up in my aim. How often are you, your weakness? Dude, My I haven't played League in so long. I actually haven't done it. I was being very good for a very long time. But So we're working on a new content thing Which I think Will be ready next week I'm hoping uh, I'm gonna work hard to make it work It's a new show That I've been wanting For a very long time It is uh, hmm. It is Sort of how do I put this? Chat is a part of it, but not as much as they have been historically. So it's not like Wheelchamp or anything. But chat plays a role in it. 
more React content? Kind of? Not in the way that you're thinking, though. Not in the way that you're thinking. We rate 1 to 10 or something? No. Not at all. Twitch Arcade? No. That's not... That's an idea I would have to pitch to, to somebody who has money. If I, if I could get in a room with some people who had some money, I'd love to do some game show shit. Salty bet? <laughs> We've already done salty bet. Come on. I'd be down to do another salty bet, like, you know, series at some point. I just don't want to spam it too much, because I feel like we, like, we had the season... And Gondor was awesome, and he helped us out a lot with that, but it was like, I think it ran its course. You know what I mean? Like, the meme of it. I don't know. Those videos did pretty well on YouTube, by the way. They did bad at the start, but they did better over time, especially the tournaments that we ran. So... We're up to Watch Mojo 20 on the channel, and I'm getting antsy. So. 20. Man. And I know it's not a big deal. 21 incoming. Well, I mean, it's not a big deal. A lot of streamers, like, watch TikToks a lot, or do Reddit reacts 20, 30 times. And since I don't do that, I do Watch Mojo, and I think people like it. But it does feel like, ugh. You know? I could just do Reddit reacts and try to jumpstart the Reddit, but... I don't know. I don't think I have a Reddit audience. At least not, like, at that level. You know what I mean? But maybe I would if I promoted it. Have you ever had sub... Reddit submitted for a web surf kind of deal. I would love to do that, but I don't even know how to ask. I love going through subreddits. I found uh, Crackhead Craigslist. Somebody posted in the Discord, and I've been going through that, and I love it. But it's like, how do I... I don't want to just do... Let's look at the funny pictures or the posts. Does that make sense? Like, if I do it, I want to do something like guess the object. You know? Guess the object is tough because how do you SEO that? That video is not going to do well on YouTube. But I love the video. I think it was so fun. So. Guess the price? Maybe, yeah. But a lot of them don't have prices. But I could just pick out ones that do. Maybe. Try the sub it, uh, subreddit Am I the Asshole and just say hot takes. Eh. I have a hot take series, right? I don't want to do two of them. You can review the top post, then try to make your own post and see how it does. <laughs> try to absorb the culture. The big issue that we have right now is, like, we are very deep in the Smash, like, subsystem. You know what I mean? So, because of that, like, we have an audience that will watch, you know, anything, which is great. But there's a lot of people that come over from our top 15 channels, which are all Smash channels, except for a couple. And they are only interested in Smash or Smash adjacent. Quit the Smash shit, cold turkey. We've thought about it, but the issue is, if a new Smash game gets, gets uh, like, announced tomorrow... I'm just looking for a four. If a new Smash game gets, like, announced tomorrow, like, that's huge, you know? And we're in a very good spot for it. That's not going to happen, but I get the feeling, yeah, but it's Nintendo, right? You never know with Nintendo. Might happen, never know. See, I, you don't, it's Nintendo, man. I'm just saying. If a new Smash gets, uh, if a new Smash got announced and came out, I would be a Smash channel for like three months. Daily videos. Farm it. And then we go back to the fun stuff. 
or maybe like five Smash videos to weird videos or whatever I like, you know? Panda would kill as a variety gaming channel. No, no, no. We tried. <laughs> Trust me. Smashers legitimately only really care about Super Smash Brothers. Uh, we tried to showcase a lot of different games. But doesn't work. It really is just Smash. We tried for a long time. I was looking for level 4, but I guess not in this area. We did try it for a while, yeah. Even other fighters like Junk, uh, Punk and J. Wong. Yeah, we tried fighting games. Uh, we tried Punk and J. Wong. We tried other games that are sort of... Uh... We tried to do other games that are sort of adjacent, like Pokemon. It's just Smash. So, tough. It's all quizzes now? Bro, people love quizzes. People love quizzes and game shows. Love it. And frankly, so do I. <laughs> I. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. I love that shit. So. Is it doing better now that, that it's own fighting game channel? Yeah, dude. The fighting game channel is doing fine. Um, It's not bad at all. Which is nice. No, I like the quizzes a lot. Uh, Josh and I usually come up with the quizzes. We filmed a lot of stuff at, uh, at Genesis that's about to come out, and I think it's going to be really fun. It's like the COD audience where it's a huge group of gamers who only play one thing. Kind of, yeah. And, you know... It, it's... It's... In my ideal world, I could do all the goofy, weird shit I would love to do. I love grab bags. I I love shitty uh one dollar Steam games. I love uh old weird games like Chibi Robo. I would love to play Chibi Robo. But you gotta do a little bit of both, right? So this week I I, I like yesterday I took to myself and I'm like, I wanna play these games. And it was fun, and I really liked it. But it's always a balance, you know? I've never played Chibi Robo, but it looks neat. Did that include League? No. League is always a side thing. Absolutely not. Thank you, Yonko Nabs. I, got, I know I've been watching too much Kony when I unintentionally start saying send it. That's not even a me thing. <laughs> Like, I say it a lot, but I feel like that's a common phrase, you know? But it is fun. I love FMV streams, dude. Me too. But they do not hit. <laughs> they don't hit. Actually, you guys are going to hate me for this. I have played with the idea of starting... Well, I've said this before on something else. But just starting my own channel with just, like, shit that I make. Scripts, editing, my own thing. And one of the videos is uh, called Games Where You Die. And it's specifically about... There's this really weird time back in the, like in the 90s, early thousands, where like there were a lot of FMV style games or like narrative focus games where the deaths in the game were fucking brutal. And it, like we never had anything like that and there hasn't been anything since. So stuff like... Brain Dead 13, Heart of Darkness. Uh, I found another one that I called, uh, oh god, what's it called? Snub? I don't know, but there's a ton of that. 
And I want that, I want to make that video so bad. So I might do that. One day. Uh, but I also, I play with the idea, but I also think that I would do like two or three videos and I would get demotivated because they take so much time and I'm so busy. And then the answer would be like, well, if I start a Patreon, I would be more motivated because I'd know that there are people who genuinely enjoy it. But then I'd feel shitty and greedy because I want a Patreon, but I'm doing well. Does that make sense? I, I like, I've, I've gone through all this in my head. The first video ideas, I had games where you die. Something about the magic of the PS2 wall at GameStop. Because it's the last era where you could truly experiment. Uh, something about SSX3 being a perfect game. Lots of stuff. Sometimes you need to create content you like. People appreciate when you can tell that you care about the subject. Yeah. Have your team work on the slop while you grind on making fun, high effort shit. True, but also... <laughs> I mean, the, the, the issue is timing right now, right? Because it's like, I'm just busy. I'm juggling a lot. That's why your Punch-Out vid is my favorite. It seemed like you genuinely cared about that game. Which one? Uh, the Wii Punch-Out? It was mad fun. Yeah, we've noticed that gameplay doesn't really work on the channel, unfortunately. So, we've tried a bunch of different things. Punch-Out actually did do well there, surprisingly. But there aren't that many things you could do with Punch-Out. Because Punch-Out is like so... I don't know. Nintendo franchises are so... Um, I don't know how to put it. Nintendo franchises are very uh, insular, let's say. Go, set a course, young lady. I remember Jigsaw Hangman. That was Vince's idea. We could still do it. I still think it's funny. It's just a lot of work for what's probably little payoff. Does that make sense? Does your team let you know what videos work and which don't? Or do you just notice these things yourself? A little bit of both. I mean, I keep an eye on it, but ultimately, I'm, I, I don't steer the ship. Because I don't have the time. So... Your story vids seem to make for the biggest payoff. Yeah, but they're also high effort, and I don't have as many of them. I could keep coming up with them, I guess, but I really need something to spark it. And I've told a lot of good ones, but... It's a limited resource, yeah. React content is really just the best way to min-max YouTube. Literally, yes. And Twitch. Like, if I'm reacting to stuff, viewership is way higher than if I'm playing something. Which is fine. Like, people want to watch videos of people they like. But that's the reality of the situation. You can promote Scotty now. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alpha Rad has been happier doing what he likes rather than doing what the algorithm wants. Alpharad is also a millionaire living out of Los Angeles. <laughs> he has some advantages. Alpharad doesn't have to work another day in his life. You know what I mean? And he's earned it. He's he's He has absolutely worked to that point, right? I don't understand YouTube as well as he does. And also, it, it's like... Uh, it's a changing demo, too, right? Because the stuff that I watch isn't the stuff that, you know... Uh, what, 15 to 24-year-olds watch. You know what I'm saying? His 10 out of 10 is more than your salary. Yeah, exactly. I have considered, what if I just do Alpha Red, but in 2022? Just do shitty Smash games and just talk about them? Because it's been like eight years. You could just do old shit again. Nobody knows. <laughs> I've thought about it. 
I have. I've considered it. Do a uh, Cartoon Network that fighting game? I do want to play that Smash game anyway. But just make a video on that. Fuck it. Send it. <laughs> I'll get Alpharad on the videos too. Jake would be down for it. You know? I'm just like, hey, I'm going to do your thing, okay? He's like, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> the ends justify the means. All right, we got to bring the ship back. What if you become the Alpharad killer? I would never. I love Jacob. He's great. Never, ever. All right, we're bringing the ship back, and we're going to promote Scotty. In 30 seconds. But I wanted to do, uh, I've wanted to do old Smash games anyway, because I think they're at that intersection of me loving shitty, shitty games, period, but also maybe appealing to a Smash audience. Maybe. But it's depend. it depends on how it's executed. I hope you do the Shacked in a Fool thing. It would be very funny, but I really don't think it would work. Because I do think people are going to be sensitive. You know what I mean? And, and like I said, rightfully so. I understand. But, you know. I really just want to call it Coney and a Fool. Shouldn't the Ninja Turtles be called the Ninja Tortoise because they're the land variant of the species? No, they're turtles because they live in the sewer. Thank you for the 50 bits. If you get the consent of the people in the video, make that clear. It should be fine. You don't tell people you have it. I would tell Cosmos, hey, this video is coming out. Are you okay with it? He would say, yes, I would never tell anybody. Because then it becomes, wow, Coney is being so disrespectful. That generates conversation. People talk about it. Cosmos is fine with it. But he can pretend to be outraged if he wants, which ups the engagement. You know? If you're like, hey, everybody's okay with this, then you're you're kind of taking away all the bite from it. That kind of sucks. Cosmos would be totally fine with it. But some, some regions are more sensitive than others. More Some players are more sensitive than others. And again, I get it. If some 16-year-old almost makes a huge upset but SDs and I make fun of him. Like, obviously I wouldn't do that, but I'm saying, you know. Like Zamba. Zamba has a good sense of humor about shit, but he's also 16. Do I want to laugh of it if, I, if there's a clip of him making a bad roll or something? It feels weird. It doesn't feel good when I'm 33. You know what I'm saying? Like laughing at a 16. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like it's weird. I'm not into that. But there is an angle there. And maybe I can explore it. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna Oh, I won again. I won again, everybody. I win again. We'll never get out of Smash. We, we, it's not getting out of Smash. The issue is getting into a new game. That's the problem. We have to get into a new game. Because getting into variety doesn't work unless you got mad backing. You know? Gets into a new game, game dies back to Smash. We need to get into a new game that won't die. That's what we need. <laughs> the game has to live, which is very hard. Gets into variety, variety gets canceled back to Smash. Yep. It's our ball and chain. What can you do? That's your fault for being attracted to arms and knockout city type games. I can't help it. I like what I like. And I like Star Trek Fleet Command. Thank you guys for joining me. This part of the stream. This will be the last time you guys see it on the stream. So this is your last time to download it from the QR code, everybody. Go look at it if you want to play some Star Trek action. It goes kind of crazy. I do love Strikers. Strikers will be fun.
But it's not going to, like, blow up the earth, right? It's a Mario sports game. But I do have some stuff planned. So, it'll be a good time. The other issue is I feel like Nintendo YouTube is so, like, in its own category, which is so weird because I don't feel like a Nintendo YouTuber. You know what I mean? I'm not an Arlo. <laughs> All right. Let's go to bed. I'm going to go back to just chatting. Oh, damn, my lights went down. I'm going to go back to just chatting because whenever I raid people, they're like, oh, here's Coney. Here's what he was just playing. And it's like, it says Star Trek Fleet Command. And I'm like, no, it, I didn't. I swear. <laughs> that wasn't me. Coney likes Star Trek? No, he doesn't. I promise. Trek Lords. Put on some random ass game. <laughs> That's actually a funny idea. We'll do that in the future with raids. I like that. We just make up a game. And then they're like, what the fuck is Coney playing? That's funny. I like that. It's a good time. Genital jousting? I don't even think you can play that on stream. Oh my god, it's getting darker too. Holy shit. Yeah, you can't do gentle jousting. Oh my god, my voice. Alright, uh, two people are doing subathons. Holy shit. Go to Pooh. Pooh Bear's doing a subathon. Go to him. Point Crow is also doing it. Go to one of those two fellows. Send it. Dude, Doug Doug is still streaming too? He was streaming fucking GTA like six hours ago. Crazy. All right, I'll see you guys Sunday. Maybe I'll stream this weekend. Maybe I won't. I don't know. You'll see. Stop bugging me. Thanks for the subs. Goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. I might. Good night. Don't say I won't. I might do it. Do the lights keep going increasingly darker? Do you see this? They're not like all going out at once. It's like bit by bit. It's so weird. Bye.